Hello, hello, D-Class. Uh, this game released today, and I'm extremely excited, and I feel like I'm a kid in a candy store with this game. Because I... Some of us were here for the, the demo, and the demo was completely amazing. Like, it actually scared the shit out of me. This is supposed to be a horror game. I'm eating freezer burnt chicken nuggets. I'm running from a grill that is trying to eat me alive. I feel like those two are connected. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, probably. <laughs> wait, are you? Wait, wait, back up. Pen penguin. Wait, that's right. Penguin is a bird, but who eats penguins? That seems me. <laughs> You aren't a chicken, you're a penguin. Please do not eat penguins. I don't think it's legal or ethical because I, I think like a lot of penguins are endangered. Yeah I'm, yeah, I'm certain there's a large amount of endangered penguin species. Uh, but yeah, anyway. Please I'm... do not eat penguin nuggets. Yeah. I feel but... like yeah. they're very, they, I feel like they would be very fatty. But as you can tell, I'm here with my friends yeah. uh, Hatchet, my butt buddy, Dr. Rattler, and a child. Yeah, seriously, come to think of it, penguin nuggets would probably be really fucking tasty. What but the fuck? They're also <laughs> be they probably would. Like they're it's it's a fatty meat. And fat tends to be perceived as tasty to humans. Hey, uh bookworm, can you clip that? They look they look fatty, but in reality there's like just meat and fur. Not fur. Feathers. The hell what ones have you seen? Yeah, like they they live in really cold temperatures, so they have a pretty thick layer of fat. Okay, can uh Bookworm, can you clip the how Hatchet wanted to eat penguin meat? I'm saying uh... they would probably be tasty. <laughs> I'm not saying I want to, or I think it would be ethical. Actually, that reminds me, I was looking up um like what penguins eat. And for some reason, it decided to show me recipes on how to cook penguins. And I have what? never been more upset in my life after one I guess one people search. already cook penguin meat. Yeah, and that has to do this. Yum, yum. Yeah. Well, I mean, there. I'm sure there's some penguin species that aren't endangered. But yeah. None that there I, are know a few of. I know of. Yeah, the like... one in the zoo. <laughs> what? I'm sorry. Right, you're not... <laughs> what? Species. That doesn't. Bright, go sit. Right, you know... corner. <laughs> pandas are in zoos too, but they're endangered. <laughs> or no, anyway. pandas aren't Actually, endangered. Actually, I don't think anymore. penguins. Uh, oh, not penguins. Not? Pandas are endangered anymore. Yeah, the Chinese government heard, "Hey, a really iconic animal of ours is going endangered." They then waited like two decades, but then get, went really hard on conservation, and uh. Panders are, have now been put like a step back and threatened. Like instead of endangered, they're like at risk. So, Something along those lines. Anyway, are we actually ready to start the game now? Less endangered. And stop talking about animals. <laughs> no, no. That's that's still endangered, Hatchet. That's just less endangered. No, like these are different classifications. Uh, endangered you mean is. Yeah. Yeah, like endangered is there is a like. A certain threshold below, below that threshold, an animal is endangered. Above that threshold, it's a different classification, and on and on and on. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's actually start with the game and a, a species can be threatened, but not endangered. Yeah. But anyway. Right there. Yeah. Let's start with the game and stop talking about uh, penguin meat and pandas. All right. You know, in this Splatoon universe, uh, humans no. are fucking dead. A child. At we the all SCP knew that. Universe that this game is in. Yeah, anyway. Let's start the game. <laughs> oh. I am Carl. Carl Astana. I'm assuming that's how you say last name. A few months ago, I was preparing the search in, at, in a restaurant on L Street. The pies were rather to my liking. It became startled when the man sitting across me suddenly shout out. Fast here of total shit. Oh. Well, I can't read that fast. After seeing that they're only empty. Tails the restaurant, I said to the man, Oh, I get to choose! I get to choose! Yippee! Excuse me, I don't I... believe I know you. Is there something I can help you with? 
Look, the seat's occupied. Find yourself another table, all right? <laughs> okay, are you being a dick or are you being polite? Also, I simply have to acknowledge the fact that the first line of this game is, I'm Carl. <laughs> <laughs> Carl. Hey, Bright. Hey, hey, Bright, do you want a croissant? No. Carl, that kills people, Carl. Anyway, I I'm choosing the second one because I am a dick. Just like Carl. I would probably choose that one too because I don't want yeah. to share my pie with other people. Alright, it's my question, man. Continue talking to us while you're lucky or you are. You're graduating soon and clearly need a job, huh? Well, it seems like I have signed a job for you. The man paused to add emphasis. A mysterious, mysterious job. A wonderful, wonderful one. That sounds sketchy as hell. <laughs> Is this laughing? This sounds like laughing. My job for you is not a job, it is a cult. You take care of many llamas with this silly little SCP hats. Universe. That is... This is the SCP <laughs> universe, so technically it could either be an organization or a cult. Well, welcome or both. To the... <laughs> the mix of both. <laughs> Would you like to take a new job opportunity? It's called cult, also known as capitalism. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Thank you, I have no interest in your proposal. Mysterious and wonderful, huh? Sounds interesting. I'll do that one. The Trust... illusion of choice. <laughs> Trust me, you won't be disappointed. He hand me a business card. Both sides of the business card were black, with three letters printed neatly on one side. SCP. That's it, that's all you get. It's just the, the here's, word, here the is words. your job. <laughs> Here is your job. Take this card. Goodbye. Never see this person again. You just talk to a drugged up hippie. Yeah. Uh, Karen says, how are y'all? Uh, I'm good. How about you? Pretty good. Consuming nuggets. Right. Contemplating e eating the child apparently now. <laughs> no, no, please. I'm just glad that your character was hit up by the SDP Foundation and not like a literal cult or anything. <laughs> anyway, uh, I was actually surprised I had to do reading. <laughs> Sarkic cult what? just walks up to you, hey, buddy. <laughs> no, no, no. They were already hit up by the SCP Foundation. They're cult free. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. But are they really? Are they really? <laughs> with the SCP Foundation? Are they really? Yeah. No. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No. They arrest cults, they deal with cults sometimes, but they are not a cult. Just because they arrest cults doesn't mean that they themselves don't have cults under their supervision. Counter argument. This counter argument. The Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> Nobody ever suspects the Spanish Inquisition. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. I want to click SCP. Counter argument oh no. L plus oh ratio. No. There's an address. <laughs> Fuck. Carl. I'm Carl. Is, that, is Astana how you actually say that last name? I guess. Duh. Yeah, I guess. Carl. Okay, Hatchet, what Carl is the context stuff. to your name? Oh. What name do I have right now? Wait. Uh, Robert is a good lad. Not oh, Robert, yeah. Robert. Uh, Carl um, in... in this game is gendered or non-gendered. Yeah, anyway. But, uh, well, real quick. Context to my name is over at uh, twitch.com or twitch.tv slash oh. Oh shit, I, I, was trying, I was trying to disable the fucking chat box because it was getting in the way of the writing. Fuck. Damn it. Since the beginning of civilization, the world what? has been full of unknown things. Oh, holy shit. Today, this looks good already. Of the world of mankind. 33! My number! However, no matter how advanced our technology, no matter how great our scientific breakthroughs, it's SCP-055! Wait, what was that again? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, hi there. 
J a, a giant teddy bear? Oh, yeah. I want to, I want to say something, but it would be spoilers for the Splatoon 3 hero mode. Oh, uh, we're talking about this SCP game at this moment. Yeah. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, what? Oh. Hi there. What the fuck? Oh, well, you're supposed to say what the fuck. It's the SCP Foundation. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. What the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, I have nothing. Or just what the fuck? I'm making tacos. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's actually a third motto the SCP Foundation has, and I I learned an SCP video, which was, uh, be cold, not cruel. A lot of doctors don't follow that rule. <laughs> counter, counter argument. Cleft. <laughs> <laughs> counter argument. Literally a good like half of the like doctors and shit in the SCP Foundation that take their anger out Do on. I also SCP. sleep yeah. with the god though and have a kid. But yeah, to uh, to clarify, my, uh, the reason why my name is what it is, is over at uh, um, MUI2, or uh, Twitch, twitch.tv slash MUI underscore Chew, whatever it is, uh, over there, Chew has been streaming Splatoon 3, and mm -hmm. we collectively decided to name the little salmonid that follows you around in the story mode. Robert, as right. a pun. Anyway, that is amazing. I need, I need, I need to watch Pika's uh, Splatoon streams. Yeah. Anyway, uh, on to the mission statement. Operating clandestine and worldwide, the Foundation operates beyond jurisdiction, empowered and entrusted by every major national government, with the task of containing anomalous objects, entities, and phenomena. These anomalies pose a significant threat to global security by threatening either physical or psychological harm. The Foundation operates to maintain normancy so that the worldwide civilian population can live and go on with their daily lives without fear, mistrust, or doubt in their personal beliefs, and to maintain human independence from extraterrestrial, extra-dimensional, and other extra-normal extra influence. That actually just... Oh. Never mind. What? Wait. What were you saying, Hatchet? It's it's a it's a touch off topic, so go ahead. Oh yeah. Alright, with right. well, the secure the foundation secures anomalies with the goal of preventing them from falling into the hands of civilian or rival agencies, though extensive observation and surveillance, and by acting to intercept such anomalies at the earliest opportunity. And that's the last bit of reading. Okay. Thing I was going to say is, I wonder what you would actually come to if you put the SCP Foundation through the bite model. Or, like, see whether or not it could be classified as a cult. Mm -hmm. All right. That's a good question. Appar I feel like it's depending. Oh, oh, sorry. Apparently, it's Friday at 9 p.m. Or is that a G? <laughs> right? Why would they? Why would they say GPM? <laughs> it looks like a G. That's also how certain nines look. That's how the nine <laughs> on my keyboard looks. Mine looks different. Wait, hold, hold on, hold on. When I, when I, before I entered through the doors, there was a scientist sitting right there at the gate. They're gone. Wait, was there? I yeah, there was. But where the fuck did you go? Oh, I don't have a car. Oh. <laughs> Good job, right? Enter room 914. Isn't that the clockwork machine? Either that or it's just an office. That's also a possibility. <laughs> it might just be like the numberings of the offices. <laughs> right. Also... This place, it just already looks amazing. Yeah. It, it I'm glad I, I, I don't care that I spent like, 
uh, $15 on this, I think. Why do I feel like Bright's just gonna be fangirling the entire stream? I'm sorry! This no, I'm not complaining! Amazing. I'm not complaining! That's not supposed to be mean! <laughs> this is my office. I think I have a hoarding problem. I'm nope. pretty positive it's okay to fangirl about a game you're in the middle of playing. Also, that's not supposed to be a mean thing. I'm not trying to be mean. Also, motherfucker, are you saying that a library is hoarding? Because those are just <laughs> books. Those are just books and files. What do you mean? I see an Easter. I see an Easter egg. Look, the toaster right there it says "I'm." Get it? Oh, Get it? Oh, what <laughs> What's the reference? You don't want to know. It's an SCP. It. I'm a toaster, and I like. To toast bread. It's a dangerous SCP that is contained that is a toaster. And you can only Look. refer to it in the first per person. Look. Yep. Look. And uh, the fact is, even if it's locked up, it uh, anyone near it too long will start believing it is, they are a toaster. They will yeah. do various activities, some of which cannot be described here. Hey, toaster they bath? They do things that they think will make them happy toasters, but make them unhappy and unalive people. Toaster bath? Toaster bath. <gasps> toaster bath. Wait, Hatchet. Not toaster I, bath. Hey, Hatchet, I see one of your favorite SCPs. Look, it's the astronaut. Oh. <laughs> the moon champion. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Anyway, let's actually get to, to swiping my card. What does this game take place? Why are you why are you using like a Windows ninety five? I don't know. Look, the SCP Foundation office had to take a few budget cuts because some motherfucker kept breaking into uh, the Plague Doctor's uh, SCP containment cell. Right. Okay, well, let's be fair. Nobody would ever break in there that has any sort of brain. Also, uh, okay, so. People on TikTok? <laughs> oh god. Oh, also, this... also, if you look at and this, and a lot of I'm... them find the plague doctor hot. So anyway, dear god, just <laughs> just, just quiet. move on. Try and quiet. Anyway, 1984, the child. No. S speaking of 1980, thing. Look at me. I'm old as shit. <laughs> I mean, you're not too old. You're what is that, Gen Wait, X? What? In 1986, you shit. <laughs> my birth giver was born in 1982, I think, if I remember correctly. My, my mom was born in 1952. Or no, 1958. 1958. All right, let's see. Oh, that's old. Oh. That's because you are. You have. Oh. I mean, I mean, you kind of are. Anyway, uh, so I, I think that's millennial. No. Anyway. You will have access to classified top secret archives. Please confirm that you are aware of all confidentiality clauses and agree to swear by and strictly adhere to all SCP Foundation regulations and guidelines. Got it. I agree. If I spill anything, I die. Don't mix the wrong chemicals. Wait, holy shit. I get to go to different sites. I can look at different sites. Shit. I am already loving this. Friends, Welcome. why does the SCP Foundation have its own version of Facebook? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the SCP Foundation. Before starting your work, please allow us to introduce you to the software used in archive department. Sta Wait. Status, status report. Me and me and Greg just started dating. Status report. Greg just got eaten. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> status report. I am being sacrificed to this weird noodle pasta thing. Status report, I am dead. Status report, I am meeting with Ronald Reagan in hell. Status, re <laughs> Status report, I am beating the living fuck out of Ronald Reagan in hell. Status report, currently pissing on Margaret Thatcher. Okay. <laughs> no, wait, no, no. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. Speaking of Ronald, there's mm -hmm. actually an SCP where it's, where... Ronald McDonald is an entity, and all McDonald's food is created by it barfing it out. And the uh. and the meat 
and fries and everything is all human. Yeah. I wait. The fries are human. Yep. Every every food and drink is human. I don't like that. Insert, insert problematic joke about Irish people. Also, okay. also the thing is, it sprayed coffee when a Burger King worker went near it. No, that is a valid response. <laughs> that is honestly a valid response. Anyway. Uh, bro, oh. Uh, you were going to say something? Look, I had you? something specific. Right. I thought you were going to start talking about, like, the... Uh, the Ronald Reagan with cuts. No. <laughs> Whatever it's called. 61 instances of gender reversal were, were recorded. <laughs> what? It was talking Wait, about SCP-113. The, the gender stone thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're just eight people away from being perfect. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, each day your superior will assign tasks to the mission module. When there is a new task, the button will blink red to remind you. Communication with the site relies primarily on instant messaging system, where information <laughs> is processed using level 2 encryption. Please pay attention to blinking red reminders and view them promptly. Training is an effective means of information sharing with and the foundation, new employees must first participate in new employee training before they begin work. This page shows public information for all sites around the world. You can view the information at any time. This concludes the introduction. We wish you success in your work. That's going to be hard to achieve with, like, two ADHD-riddled people and one jury. Oh my god. One jury that wants to take a bath stop Why typing so fast bath? i can't read <laughs> shut the fuck up Gent zoe and stewart how did the mission go Gent? did the information gathering on sp 1299 go smoothly was damn close this time luckily i know how to swim Glad Chuck didn't send me there. I can't stand the feeling of being drenched in water. Ugh. I think I caught a cold, too. Wait, this reminds me. Okay, so Amazon has this thing where you can communicate with, uh, like... The game? I'm not talking about Amazon at the moment, Dragon. But it's, it's kind of sound like this is a t chatting system. No. <laughs> anyway, good morning, all. Good morning, morning. Guess what? Our group's got a new member today. Carl, how about introducing yourself? Uh, I can either do morning hello, everyone. Hiya, friends. Good morning. <laughs> that just screams introvert trying to pass as an extrovert. I'm just going to do morning, why everyone. Why does the sprite just pick that up? Feels like right. No. Introvert trying to pass as extrovert. My name is Carl Astana. Astana, you can call me Carl. I graduated oh, from people. Oh, I graduated from MIT with a double major in biology and, and philosophy. You poor person. <laughs> Why are you saying you poor person? Because I've taken a philosophy class before and I hated hey, it. I well, love I just... philosophy. You shit, you I... must have got a bad teacher. <laughs> Either that or like like Believe it or not, people can be, like, like if someone did a double major with one of their majors being philosophy, I'd be willing to guess that they're very into philosophy. Fair. My philosophy in life is Wait. women <laughs> are very swaggy. Wait, Stuart, what the fuck is that supposed to God be? damn it, I'm broke. Uh, Let Stuart. Let me tell you what it is. That is a happy face with sunglasses. Uh, None of yeah, you I know see it. what tech faces are. It's just been a while since I've seen. Yeah. Except for XD. <laughs> Zoe says, seen... "Yeah." Zoe says, "Welcome." Stuart does a smiley face. Shin just says MIT. 
<laughs> oh, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> Honestly, the fucking name. Wait, archive department? Yeah. Are they British? I I don't know. What? No, none of you motherfuckers don't. Oh, why? Anyway, it seems MIT is not popular the here. Archives. Is it just me, or do I sense a hint of jealousy? <laughs> oh, top one, not the bottom. <laughs> no, 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 it's not like that. Fucking asshole. Not targeting you specifically, pal. It's all these prestigious graduates. Enough gent. The foundation specifically seeks out prestigious graduates, and then the foundation throws them all in archive department. Carl, don't listen to the nonsense coming out of, of his mouth. Hey, you all conveniently forgotten about Jonathan? Everyone forgets about Jonathan. Fuck well, cares about someone named Jonathan. Seemed like this Jonathan left a bad impression on you. You guys watched freaking Morty last night? <laughs> Wait, was is this an American-made game? Maybe. I don't know. You prestigious graduates are so full of it. You thinking just being through everywhere with your glowing academic qualifications. You got it coming. The tragedy he went through was inevitable. Wow, well, like... Jen is a piece of shit. Fuck. Mason? Philosophy major is actually very important if you want to be very good at arguments because uh, one of the parts of philosophy, the basic parts, is learning about false arguments and other things like that. Right. Anyway. Gent is just a jealous jackass. Wait. I just I just see the announcements over here. Rule one: verbal abuse. Of of any form are strictly prohibited. Those who do not abide will be injected with anesthetics. Contact with SP999 during oh. working hours is strictly prohibited. Document sharing server password 3501. SP343 visiting hours changed to 14 o'clock daily. And that's God, by the way. Anyway, how dangerous could dealing with paperwork possibly be? Jonathan lost his left hand because he breached protocol and touched SCP-247. He was giving an S6 sent back home two days ago. Look, Rick clear- Stop talking! Rick clearly knows too much. Shut the fuck up! I really- Shut up! Stop it! I can't read! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that fast of a reader, gents. Gent, I'm going to kill you. Gent, I will kill you. Chuck, I will kill you too. Maybe you should wait until they're done talking at each other so you can actually read what the fuck they're saying. You need to. We need to have that entire section clipped with Bright just, just threatening to kill her co-workers because they're texting fast. Bright loses her sanity after people communicate. <laughs> Bright Finally. versus Facebook. <laughs> All right. Touch two four seven. He was given. Okay, I write that part. Rick clearly knows too much. I really don't want to recall those details. I can't even eat medium rare steak anymore. I got a reason to suspect he was a former SCP employee. Lol. Hey, Stuart. No one wants to talk about those boring children's cartoons. All right. <laughs> that was just an accident. Accident. Who cares? He was just a prestigious graduate with a higher con consume rate than Class D personnel. Well, fuck you, Gent. In this year's annual report, I am going to replace Archive Department with Relief Station. <laughs> Jesus. Rick and Morty is not a children's cartoon. Gent, I think you scared Carl. 
any of you are planning on getting some serious work done today, then please do me a favor and just shut the hell up. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so as long as you're here working in an archives department, I'm going to need you to focus on your work. Unlike these people in the logistics department spending their time gossiping all day. Here's Zoe's work. Archives contain missions not completed last time. Some places still need modifications. Got it. Jen, take some time off after you finish up with this project, alright? Don't push yourself too hard. Got it. Yes, I don't get to see Jen for a while after they're done with their work. Stuart. Got it, boss. Okay, that's all. Class A archive must be handed in by the end of the day. It's my job, Director. Uh, Ayer? In our case department, we need to review, organize, catalog, and modify all existing containment archives. But no need to hurry, young man. You need to attend a new employee onboarding training first before you begin working at the Foundation officially. The system will send you a, a meeting notice. Alright, Dr. Uh, Ayer? I am not sure how to say that last name. <laughs> R. His name is now Dr. R. <laughs> He's a pirate. Alright, according to this video game, people in their 30s are young men. Yeah. How does it feel to be a young man, Jerry? I have a giant hole in my right leg. <laughs> what? <laughs> Good response, what? Jerry. <laughs> I've had it since I was 17. I haven't felt young since I was 17. Anyway, uh, hey, Dr. Uh, not Dr. Hey, Director R. I'm honored to be given a chance to work here at the Archives Department. No response. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, why do I feel like young... that motherfucker's gonna be a gigantic asshole? Young man, this place is not what you think. You must abandon your past self and start again from zero if you hope to learn to survive here. No one will take care of you. You must demonstrate your own ability. Understood, Director R. I'm pretty sure if someone told me that, I would want to leave. <laughs> Director R. Why does it feel like a threat? Oh, it most definitely is. The new employee on Barney Train will be hosted by Dr. Ham this time. You will suffer, Carl. <laughs> I suggest you prepare for paper to to come. He's just messing with you. Dr. Ham is one of the most knowledgeable containment specialists in the Foundation. Guys, so you still have no idea what, what you will be doing, do you? Now move it. Remember, Carl. Stay nope. sane and always in awe. You, oh. you know, you know, you're, you know you're in a good work environment when you at some point here, you are what, what, what was the exact thing? You are doomed. You will suffer. <laughs> you will suffer. Yeah, you know you're in a good work environment when your co-workers say, you will suck. You, no, 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 no. They're not saying it in a mean tone. They're saying, you will suffer. Like, like one of those, like, <laughs> <laughs> You <Mayor> will. <laughs> gonna, gonna, do, gonna do Cindy voice. You will suffer. That sounds like something you would hear when you, when you go to a, work at a fast food restaurant you're going to suffer <laughs> no it's, it's an chat. amazon uh it's an amazon workplace oh yeah anyway time Pog to enter champ. the training system what if you're like in, like, you will suffer what if you like amazon not yet yeah, why do i feel like amazon would be like a wor a worse working environment than the fucking scp foundation i don't know but anyway amazon oh wait can we actually... Oh, you can't play this video, damn it. The SCP uh -huh. Oh, wait. Oh. oh. The SCP Foundation is non-profit. Yeah, they're not a fucking, like, Twitch streamer. God damn. Imagine if the SCP site did make, like, an official Twitch, though. That would be fucking... <laughs> that'd be funny as shit. I'm pretty sure they did. Oh, that's so, that's so cool, honestly. Like, but oh. it's like a type of like podcast shit. That would oh. be cool, honestly. Yeah, Jason watch Carter the video, watch is the video. a death row inmate. Oh. Why is it yellow? In exchange for clemency, he has agreed to work with the SCP Foundation for 30 days. Upon completion of his work, his head is he will be a free man. Jason Carter is now D-503.
day one. Wait, am I a D class now? Yeah. What happened to a different person? Oh. This, this looks all. This looks so awesome. I love this. It, it actually looks like I'm playing a different game, which is just really fucking interesting. Like in comparison to earlier, or in comparison to the demo? Uh, in comparison to earlier. D-503 was given no clear instruction of the task to be completed. Um... He must find them out for himself. Um... What the fuck? <laughs> you are in Arizona. Wait, I can drive a car? This isn't gonna end well if I have seen, like, if Bright's GTA streams or anything of note. Oh, God. She's... Yeah, nope, yeah. She cannot drive. Go to the red dot and find out what the fuck they are. <laughs> Collect the random jerry can out in the desert. Damage patrol can. Petrol can. Oh, petrol can. Patrol can. Petrol can. <laughs> I'm on patrol. Oh yes, I love collecting damaged patrol cans. I have a feeling I'm eventually gonna get like attacked. Are you sure those are called skulls? That is a tire. What are you what are you talking about, Shyam? Skull can collect weight. I just collected a tire. I'm just collecting car parts because they're too, they're too, they're too, they're too greedy to actually go buy car parts. I think they're just having you collect trash in the desert. Yeah, you're just you're just doing community service, but in the desert. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what am I collecting you, this time? Didn't you know that the SCP Foundation uh, sometimes has people do community service for the fucking. Uh, uh, camel spiders. <laughs> Damage tin drum. It has a danger sign on it. Well, that's a that's a good thing to pick up. Just pick. I mean, you've got you've got a job to do. You gotta pick it up somehow. It's so weird how shift is the break. That's an uncontrol scheme. <laughs> but it, I, I'm still loving this game. Let's see, what's well, you are what playing the, the B class that, that Carl is watching. Yeah. This is the a fuck? Let's see what <laughs> this is. <laughs> Rusted iron pipe. Jesus! And I'm just carrying us back to the car. Why is that? Why is that sitting out here? It's is been this... nothing but. Okay, it's been car parts. Uh, it's been a danger sign having can, and now a, a mother, a mother oh, fucking giant pipe. Oh, object move to the incinerator. Alright. What the hell is this? <laughs> it's discarded <laughs> roadblock. Why is that out here? <laughs> what is collectibles in Splatoon 3 where it's just random shit randomly everywhere? And you can just shove it in your locker. How is I I just realized I, I I'm carrying too much weight for this car. How is it not ceased function? Uh, because video game launcher. I mean, I would imagine. I, I don't. 
I think that that wouldn't be too heavy for that car. Right. Like, the heaviest thing there would be the iron pipe, and, like, that that's probably not so heavy that it would keep the car from functioning. Alright, so, uh, please pull down a lever to confirm to incinerate. We're incinerating the car! No, you're not incinerating the car, you're just considering all the things that are on the car. Why are you burning the big metal pipe? <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you know that the big metal pipe was a war criminal? That's why. <laughs> yeah, this this is actually like this trash. This was D five oh three's first day of work. This, uh, uh, little did we know this was actually SCP the trash can version of the Nuremberg trials. Now undergo a psychological evaluation. I go under a psychological evaluation for picking up trash. <laughs> How do you feel about all that trash you burned? It reminds me of myself. Please... Oh. Please take the level two of mental t test to access your current mental state. Oh no. This is gonna go well. What me, the right? fuck? You're uh, doing a puzzle, aren't you? Oh, yes. it's not like it's not like checking you for depression or like shit like that. It's just, hey, can you figure out this basic fucking puzzle? I mean Are you an we infant? are dealing with bright here. <laughs> I fucking hate you. Please demonstrate that you are in fact not a child. Okay, obviously hey! that goes there. I could solve that puzzle. Fuck you. Okay, so Well you're not a child, you're the child. That probably Good does point. that go there. Hmm. I think the red thing goes there. Oh, wait. No, no, that Wait, I would over. move. I, yeah, I was gonna say I would move that over. Yeah. And the red and green could probably go all on that side. Yeah. Oh, oh no. wait, wait a minute. <laughs> not. Hmm. Oh wait, like opposite over, like so that the red and green are on the opposite side, and then you can put the magenta thing under there. So like you would have to move all of the pieces over. Ah, Let's I sit see. There. Wait. Oh no, that still doesn't work. Wait. Oh, oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah, big brain. I, <laughs> I didn't. I got the fourth highest time. That's actually surprising. You did have someone help. Yeah. Today's work is complete. The system will... Uh... Oh. Oh, food! Zoom Borger. <laughs> <laughs> it actually did. I love Borger because I am American. Burger, like it just burger. pauses the burger on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Eat your floor burger brain. Achievement unlocked. Burger. Achievement unlocked. Still delicious. <laughs> Did you enjoy your floor burger? Oh my gosh, this is a shitty bed. This was the, Who first the fuck shit in the bed. I said a shitty bed, not someone's yeah. shit in the bed. Are you <laughs> saying? Are you saying You're that a shitty wondering. made this bed? How can this job? <laughs> You're telling me Caesar came from the grave and made this salad? SCP-7457 Are you saying Good Hawaii everyone. made this pizza? I'm Dr. Raymond Ham from Psyche oh wait, this is actually a new SCP, SCP-7457 Today, I'm going to share with you a new generation? project I've been working on called SCP-7457 Okay, I'm being quiet now, because I want to listen The desert you saw just now? is SCP-7457. D-503 is a volunteer who we invited to help us learn more about this desert. Prior to the Foundation's involvement with SCP-7457, 329 people went missing in this area. As a precaution, we have introduced lockdown measures as we attempt to find the cause of these disappearances. 
As everyone here is new to the Foundation, it will be good for you to learn about SCP-7457. Let me explain how it works. Before we get started, are there any questions? Dr. Ham, I'm Will Barton, 3rd Special Squad, Site 86. Hello, Will. Before I came here, I thought I had a basic understanding of the Foundation. I've heard of these anomalies, but only in terms of human anomalies. I had no idea that SCP-7457 was a desert. How do we begin to make sense of this? That's a good question, Will. All the unexplained phenomena like we are monitoring question. are being there labeled are anomalies. Are areas. Human Why anomalies, regional anomalies, artifact anomalies. If he is supposed to be the Dr. Ham, Why does he not look like a our ham? Control. Hush. The work of the Foundation <laughs> is to isolate these anomalies and prevent the public from shall we say, experiencing them? Okay, next question. Hello, Dr. Ham. I'm Mark Harris, a research intern from Site 27. In a video, we saw D-503 picking up garbage in the desert. Why does Mark Why look like he's that? trying to try out for a boy band? With... He <laughs> looks like he's gonna cry. Okay, Mark. What I can tell you now <laughs> he, is he looks like I'm on the verge of tears and of honestly SCP understandable. <laughs> SCP anomalies can be a little difficult like, this is to a pretty understand shit situation at first. Again. Just know that it or they have their own rules. Perhaps you'll understand what I mean once we finish watching the video. Okay, let's move on. Oh. Day 8. We just skip. The first we skip week was seven days. normal. However, right. That's there never was an time. interesting occurrence. Yeah. On the eighth day. Can we acknowledge the fact that this D class apparently doesn't have a bed? Oh, they Just... do. There's a bed button. It... Oh. It's a bed. It's a oh. bed, but it's a bed. Oh, okay. oh, right, right, right. I forgot about that. Let's I'm dumb. Look at what happened. Technically, it's a prison bed that's from the 80s, since I think in the 90s they improved, but let's skip details. Basically, we're about to see what this anomaly is. Other than a bunch of random trash in the desert. Yeah, apparently something happened on day 8. On day eight, the D-Class went out, and he found a discarded, not safe for work object that we can't talk about. <laughs> Damn, someone must have killed the moist critical. <laughs> Corroded iron bucket. I really so hope what? someone gets that reference. It's... Uh, I kind of feel like I get it, but I also don't. Voice Critical yeah, has the, uh, so. collection of items. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So the desert randomly... Oh, oh, um, um... um oh! I got his shoes! I got his shoes! I called it. <laughs> I don't even know what happened. I was just going forward. And Chuck is going like, "Well, time to go this way." <laughs> right? You know is... what? Get off and find the trash. Right is in fact. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Printer? Broken air conditioner? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is up with this desert? I don't know, but apparently, uh, over three hundred people went missing. Jesus. Oh my god, the people turned into broken appliances. What if that actually is the SCP? That would be fucking hilarious. These people who spent too long out here in the desert uh, just get turned into random people. Um... I don't want to get out. What is that? Um, I knew I didn't want to get out. Oh, that's a body. The Black spindle. It, a sp 
spindle of thick black cable that has wound too tightly to see what's inside. It is much heavier than it looks, and nobody knows why. It takes a lot of effort to carry. Okay, I'm not sure if you saw it, but there was like things attached to it that just disappeared. So, uh, there's something in this desert. <laughs> You're in the desert, so yeah. Not just me, dragon. Got him. So we definitely found the entity. We just don't know what it is. <laughs> Just gotta burn it. Yep. Burn it. I feel like something bad's gonna happen. Yeah, something bad is going to happen. You're gonna fucking die. Oh. What happened? Is this place about to go sky high? I don't know. Oh, okay. Nice, good. Please oh. take a level 2 mental test. Oh, we've got... Oh, what's this? Please select three pictures with a triangle. This well, is it's... just... Why are we doing a captcha? <laughs> well, there's that, that, and that. You are sane. Uh, I don't see a triangle in the other pictures. So yes. And it... Actually, there are two other... Wait, <laughs> select the three pictures that calculation results are equal to five. Uh, <laughs> one plus five. one plus one. That's five. That's five. That the next uh, one's five. What? What? Five plus five is fifteen. 10, fifteen, 15 and then thirty. Yeah. Result correct. I'm still fourth. <laughs> I can do math. Yeah, because you took fucking forever. Hush. Commit murder. And as you can see, what? oh wait, we don't get dinner this time. <laughs> Why? Fuck it, we're going to sleep. See, hatchet, what? look, the bed. What the fuck? This seems needlessly expensive. That night, Are you in like a revolving room. So, oh, wait. Data showed abnormal fluctuations. Yeah, Analysis I couldn't see triangles. Wait, what? Unfortunately, though, we have no way of knowing what he dreamed of that night. Get the dream reader. Oh, we do. Oh, what the, oh, what the fuck is this? An ocean? They're on the beach. You do not recognize the bodies in the water. Everyone, it's the beach episode. Oh. Finally. Oh no. Oh, no. no. Wait, is that a phone booth? <laughs> it's a phone booth doing way up there. <laughs> um, obviously oh, when someone needs to call someone. I duh. think we're I I think we're actually that secretly this is actually Ghostwire Tokyo. Oh no! Wait. I feel like this is secretly what you're just taking place in Ohio. The this is what Ohio looks like. Significant turning point. The start. I'm fairly of sure it's not what Ohio. Oh. I I I'm certain this is what Ohio looks like. All right, we're about to learn more about the SCP. Hello, Doctor Ham. I'm Spencer Jones from the Special Operations Spencer. Department of Site 21. Hello, Spencer. It's still unclear as to why D-503 needs to pick up all of this trash. If you wanted to monitor his psychological response to SCP-7457, why not just leave him out in the desert? Why assign him these tasks when there are already psychological evaluations taking place? Okay, oh, fuck. our analysis has indicated that SCP-7457 produces a new cluster of trash every 8 minutes and 37 seconds. If waste collection is not done regularly, all that trash may soon flow into our world. It is worth noting, though, that the quantity of waste created here pales in comparison oh, right. to the when amount produced by humans. The However, it uh, still uh, has right. the potential to become a significant problem in the future. 
By assigning these tasks to D503, we can monitor his reactions while also containing the trash. There is another reason, but we will get to that one later. Is it not the case that the Foundation is exaggerating the importance of a minor issue before the issue is fully understood? <sighs> okay, everyone. I must emphasize that behind us is the general public, who are wholly unaware of any of this. Being meticulous and maintaining a serious attitude is essential at the SCP Foundation. Any oversight or underestimation of the enemy may result in disaster. Thank you, Dr. Ham. I understand. Good. Let's move on. The effects of SCP-7457 on D-503 became most obvious on day 15 of the test. Due to the conditions that day, we were only able to track his movements after recovering data from his radar. It was definitely Autobots. a bad day. Perhaps the worst. Did you uh -oh. Even Autobots? for a death row inmate. Yeah. Uh -huh. The gay little robots, those. Okay, also, so... Can, oh. Also, can we just get some pog champs over here for Carly's brother Spencer uh, coming out as train? Hush. <laughs> anyway, so it looks... Glad on oh. oh. It looks like all trash is made from humans. I, yeah. It said yeah, it said that. D503 found a radar. I, mean, yeah, that I feel like that's kind of common. Penguin. Handheld radar. Like radon. actual humans or like However, it said D503 from humans. So. To think much of it. Okay, that can be many things. From the SDP universe, it means it's just humans. Yeah. <laughs> and it said like over 300 people went missing. Uh oh. This is definitely a body. A body? Okay. Alright, well, gotta move it to the incinerator. I mean, it is what we do to D class. I thought they stopped doing that to be class because it caused a whole different issue. Uh, I was joking. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Discarded tires, handheld radar, and black spindle. Persistent adverse physiological reactions proved to be a challenge for D503. He still managed to complete his work on day 15. But then he encountered an incident. Uh oh. Uh... A sandstorm. Oh shit. D503 walked in the sandstorm for a long time. Messy. And couldn't seem to find his way back. I guess fall on a wire. Oh, there's a building. You were good. I, I don't like that red dot, though. Red dot. It's just a light. Oh, perhaps. But I feel like I'm gonna die as soon as I get to that building. You oh god, are. even though we've said it a few times, maybe we're all just assuming you'll die. I'm just oh, waiting for know. you to turn into a jerry can. Oh, wow. <laughs> D503 managed to find a sight just as he was beginning to grow weak with exhaustion. A sight he was not familiar with. Oh, shit. Oh, what the a sight you weren't familiar with. Yeah, but listen, there's oh. voices. Uh, hi. Friend? I can't no. run. I can't Friend. run. Friend. 
Oh, it's a phone booth. I can only Gun. walk. You have to go talk to your friend in the phone booth. You said it's not a friend. Like a British person. Um, it says lie. You have to go tell your friend a lie. It tell says, him that you actually really like him. And it says five on the clock. So that's what this SCP is. The wires that burrow out of people? Or, well, burrow into people and make them into items. Maybe it's being controlled by the phone booth. Pick up the red phone. Oh. What is there's a boss in the Octo expansion that is dead ass. Uh... <gasps> no! <laughs> not what? The, not that sound of <laughs> Approximately 13 hours later, a visibly trembling D-503 returned to Site 8. We immediately performed a psychological evaluation. I have a feeling we're not going to be able to do this. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, this is... Oh, Major oh, what the? can now be observed in D five oh three's physiological data. They're about to turn into a wire person. The results of the psychological Yummy. evaluation were so troubling. We had to abort the mission. Oh damn. I'm leaving. Prepare, Bright. You're about to be turned into even more of a piece of garbage. Oh. Cutscene time. Very warm. This where the fuck is controlling that? I'm sure you're really good. Turn the slab. <laughs> Humans often believe that their fate is in their own hands. All right, this all is. All choices come from their own free will. This already looks like an interesting SCP. I want to read. Because I feel like there's some things the game isn't gonna be able to tell us about this SCP. This part of interesting that we humans form only a small part of this world. This is probably obviously there, a heater. In the unknown world, we are as insignificant as a grain of sand in this vast desert. Or are you cold? It's definitely not safe. <laughs> I mean, if it doesn't try to break out of containment, it could easily be safe. Well, they said yeah. every, every eight minutes they produce the human trash remains. Well, did they actually say that the trash is made out of people? They yes, they, they said like the the property the properties were made from human. 
And holy shit. It is from a phone booth. Zadiko's been on some weird drugs lately. Um, so this is where the, the Octo expansion is from Splatoon. Hush. Uh oh. Um. This is an unknown situation. I'm absolutely fucking not. Were you eaten? Well, he's dead. You are now oh. wired. Oh, wait. Wait. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> dead. Yeah, so those were just... See, up, see, they, they, those were people. And your dumbass is all that guy found that time. <laughs> this is such an interesting SCP. Forty-eight days later, experiment participant D-722 found the radar that it belonged to D-503. The radar was 31 miles away from the waste treatment facility. All the data we have came from this radar. People entering SCP-7457 will suffer varying degrees of psychological stress within an acute period. It manifests as a range of neurological and mental disorders, as well as severe and unexplained hallucinations. So far, not one participant has left the desert unscathed. The Foundation has tested 31 Level D personnel in an area spanning 2,267 square miles. Our testing continues. When you work for the Foundation, you will face various anomalies. Some can kill you, some may drive you crazy, and some will make you feel that living is worse than death. Let this be very clear. SCP-7457 is just a taste of what you will face in the future. Before joining the Foundation, you were all leaders in your respective fields and industries. Researchers, special forces, FBI agents, national security experts. Well, SCP does not care how smart you are, how accomplished you are. It doesn't matter to them how many doctorates and titles you have. You are no different from helpless ants when confronted with these anomalies. Remember this. It is the most important advice you will receive. Do not take risks. You will die. You are not as special as you think you are. If you encounter an anomaly, put your pride and curiosity aside. Run. Because that's the only thing you can do. God won't protect you here. Welcome to the that Foundation, like rookies. Some... I'm Dr. Raymond like Hamm, some... and this ends the first class of our employee induction program. That feels like uh, that. That feels like some fairly bad advice, considering that I'm certain there are certain SCPs that you do not want to run from. Oh yeah. Yeah. One seven three, for instance. That you would get hurt by if you tried yeah. to run from them. Yeah, literally the first SCP ever made. You do not want to try to run from it because it will kill you. Yeah. Training course has ended. Please add your comments. Oh, we get to judge. <laughs> <laughs> Don't really feel anything. That's the only supplements I can add and submit. The course is ranked. But you can't. Wait, there's no other things to put in there? No. Oh, wait. Good, it helped me. I only saw. 
I'm just gonna right. put five stars to everything and said I don't really feel anything. <laughs> Wait, but why? Because it feels really weird as hell. <laughs> Thank you for your feedback. <laughs> <laughs> that was useless feedback. Hiya, Carl. How did it feel? Anyone got an aspirin I could use up you? <laughs> This game, send, I, I already love it. Send aspirin via computer. To be honest, I kind of almost want to replace the Tokyo game with this. If it, because I didn't expect it to be like this. I thought I would just do a few SCP stories and that'll be it. I didn't expect all of this. This is awesome. Yeah, this is awesome so far. Like well put together. I love it. It has a, it has a lot of charm. How how long is it? The demo took an hour, so we've already been here for more than an hour. Yeah, <laughs> and that was just one SCP. There's yeah. apparently six ten and zero four nine is supposed to be in it too. So hmm. to be honest, I feel a little uncomfortable. We'll go with that. Hey, buddy, don't throw up on the floor. <laughs> Stop messing with them, Stuart. Carl, that was only the beginning. You gotta learn to get used to it. Live with it. Got it. And... <laughs> Everyone here wants to teach you something, Carl. Live with it. Come on, Stuart. Thank you, I feel much better. In any case... You're welcome to join us, Carl. Smiley face. Oh. Past hour has been torture. I don't know how the others managed to hold on. I messed up during training session. I jumped off a cliff. I fell in ice and water and choked hard. I don't even recall this because I have no memory of visiting any closer waterfalls. But it was so real. I can even taste it in my mouth and taste river water. But in any case, this is my first day at the foundation. I gotta go to the cafeteria and get something to eat. Maybe that'll make my stomach feel better. Oh, this is 2012. August 13th, 2012. Why are they still using CRT monitor having computers in 2012? I don't know. The CRT SCP Foundation monitor. has to have better funding <laughs> to get better shit. Wait, I just realized identifying your ID if it's legal is one of the things it loads up as. <laughs> <laughs> An incident report found that during the three months that SCP-113 was exploited, 61 instances of gender reversal were recorded, in addition to 13 deaths and 8 cases of extreme paralysis. I like gender bending. <laughs> Zoe, got it. That's one of my favorite general, like, little genres of anime. <laughs> Gent, got it. Stuart, got it, boss. Hey, Chuck. Why am I being assigned to, to field work again? Something went wrong at Site 74. Personnel from other departments went to, to provide support, so we need to take on more, more field work. Just like I said, more art department should be renamed Relief Station. Stop complaining, Gent. Carl, how do you feel now? I'm ready for a new job. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say I feel much better. <laughs> that was hilarious. I I love how they do that type of answers. Good. This is your first mission, Carl. Review the archives and organize them accordingly to the requirements. Do not underestimate the task at hand. Go and finish it. I'll do my best. Good luck, Carl. Just one thing, MIT boy. Don't want to sue my gender. Strictly follow the regulations and do not act on your own without authorization. I'm not an idiot, but thanks for the advice. <laughs> there, there for a second, my brain registered that statement from them, not as MIT boy, but 
my T boy, as in trans boy, is <laughs> <It was> just <laughs> randomly like word of advice, my trans boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's one of those like uh like trans like Twitter accounts where like trans advice. Yeah. This reminds me of my first mission, love a love a dub dub. <laughs> oh, right, can, we, why? <laughs> can we open that person's brain and study them under a microscope? Oh, oh, we get a file. Okay, let's see. SCP-701. I don't remember what that SCP is. Alright. Enter data regarding investigation reports and archive system on the right method of operation. Click test text with red underlines. After collecting the data, Dragon Effect will be activated. Dragon Archive System on the right. Left click to release data. Data will be uploaded automatically. After entering all data into Archive Systems, click Submit to complete the task. Alright. I'm Agent Q from the Accident Investigation Department. Containment breach occurred at Pony Station and contact with the Foundation has been lost. Agent Bella Lawrence was given orders to enter Pony Station and retrieve the black box. Following is a transcript of the interview with Bella Lawrence. Oh! This is continuing from the demo! This is the Han King! We're continuing from the demo! I didn't recognize it at first. Blood pressure 175 over 110. Experiencing mild convulsions. Administer five milligrams of metabolic to help control blood pressure. Bella? Playing Rainmaker Bella. and the dude that has the Rainmaker refuses to go forward. I I don't know, Dragon. Anyway. Uh, the drugs seem to be taking effect. Go ahead and ask questions. I can't be certain how long she'll stay away from. Where's the black box, Pharaoh? Uh, Three days ago, you were tasked with investigating the situation at Site 74, Pony Station. You were assigned to retrieve the black box. Now, out with it. Where is the black box? I brought it back. I brought the black box back. Don't lie to us. You never brought it back. No, that that's impossible. I remember. I completed my assigned task. I I swear I shit in my head. Uh. All right, here Swear now, I shit. this isn't an interrogation. We're not here to lay blame or point any fingers. Bella, I'm terribly sorry to have to bother you in such a state, but it is critical that we find that black box. We need to know what happened at Pony Station. My... my memory's a mess at the moment. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah! We'll take it slowly. Step by step. Oh, it's the shadow people. The Why shadow people are back. Hell yeah, we let's fucking go. Tell us what you remember. What? Let's I'll try. hit on the traumatized, damaged woman. Currently heading to mission site Site 74 oh, Pony Station. Back. We'll arrive in about three minutes. Very good, Sparrow. It's been 48 hours since the Foundation lost contact with Pony Station. SCP-701 experiments there have been ongoing. We have reason uh... to suspect a containment breach. What is my mission? According to Foundation Security Regulation 709S, each site must have a black box placed in a secure area to assist in identifying the cause of an accident, should one occur. Your task is to investigate the situation and retrieve the black box. Black box? Got it. Yeah, this is continuing off from the demo. This is the SCP okay. you did during the demo. It's become a 
become one of the many stories in the game. Okay, it already looks better than the demo though, like, there wasn't like this little mist that you see. It was just forest. I'm able to observe There's the mission site here, leaves. but it doesn't okay. seem like one of the Foundation's secure facilities. Pony Station. Why are there falling leaves when that's an Evergreen forest? I don't know. After it was is it adds ambience? Oh, this is new. Initially, it was used only to contain a few safe level anomalies. But recently it's also taken over SCP-701. Okay. I don't know all the details. We won't know the truth until you retrieve the black box. This is also it. new. I'll complete two the paths. task as instructed and retrieve the black box. There's two paths now. This is new. I want to go this way. I can't go this way. Wait, can I? I don't really. Oh, know. Jesus! <laughs> I got scared by a deer. <laughs> good, good job, Ray. That deer was new. <laughs> I mean, how do you know it was born recently? <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously, Bright asked their birth date. Ah, uh. hush. Uh, Device can measure humes of an area and calculate reality bending rate in real time. Mm, I love humes. Alright, reality anchor device capable of stabilizing the humes of surrounding areas. One of the best weapons for combating against reality bending and reduces the psychological damage in an area. May I just comment? I don't feel like having uh, the Hanged King's tragedy in a location they're used to just safe anomalies is quite a good idea. Yeah. But also, I was simply going to say I love tasty, tasty humes. Hush. The Y blocker. I, I thought that, that said the blocker, and I was very I was concerned say, for a moment. I was, I was about like, to say, yeah. This turned like, into something very different. That for a second, I thought it was a pregnancy test. That <laughs> shit. <laughs> anyway. No. 60 no. milliliters per injection. Inject this blocker to stop neurotransmitters from behaving erratically as a result of unavoidable reality bending. A poor so photo with the black die. Okay. Yep. I gotta get, I gotta find this. But we already know that's not gonna happen. Reality bending, but it just turns you into a crab. Hush. The Hang King doesn't do that. Laffy, Sadly. maybe. Laffy, maybe. That needs to. Right. The next time uh, we do Laffy's Fun, can that please station. be a punishment? Retrieve maybe. The black box from the lab. Room 705. The elevator. Seventh floor. Sparrow. Must. What's that? Bald Eagle. You're cutting out. Uh oh. Damn. This is out of the safe range. Oh no. I'll place a reality anchor. Oh, F. Ah. Broadcasters. Holy okay. shit, that looks Much awesome. Better. Broadcaster well, sound alerts sources offline. I like your reality anchor. It's adorable. It's a lot different from before. Right? Your sound alerts is apparently not working. Oh. Well, damn. They're probably doing maintenance then. It says broadcaster's sound alerts source is offline. Yeah, they're probably doing maintenance, sounds like, or updating. Something. Broadcasters. Oh. I think that means bright. I found. I, mean... I found a coin. Well, I'm still seeing me live, so. Well, you're live, but I'm saying that something's not. Like, I'm saying that maybe something got shifted in your settings to where we can't use sound alerts. 
Because it's oh, saying well. broadcasters, sound alerts, source is all. Well, I can't fix it now. You'll have to wait till after stream. How dare. Apparently, this place has a palace, forest, monastery, and a banquet hall. That, or someone has been infected by the plague and wrote it out like that. Ooh, can I press this button? To try. Okay. If you think about it, the places on that paper sound like uh, locations you'd have in the uh, Hatton King tragedy play. Yeah. But if that's already if if they've had a containment breach with that, then that means that is super dangerous. Oh, here we go. Research log. Today I read Dr. George Thompson's research log for SCP-701. Could it be true? Has he really been performing comparison experiments on chimpanzees this whole time? What could he, he have planned? Does he not realize what he is up against? This whole thing has turned out to be an ungodly mess. It's now abundantly clear why the Foundation transferred him out of the Pony Station, leaving me to take over his post. He was performing an experiment all wrong. The whole direction of the project was all wrong. SCP-701 holds great potential. I still believe that. I all have to adopt a new method of study. Efficient, fast, direct. It all begins tomorrow. Uh, uh, I don't like the sound of that. I've heard of this guy. A bit of an eccentric and a thrill seeker. Oh. Duty I rate. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I just wanted to say, when I hear of 701, the Hang King tragedy, I don't, I don't think there is potential, unless it's potential to kill people. Alright. Anyway. Duty regulations. All personnel on duty shall not leave early. Absence from work is strictly prohibited. Personnel who cannot be on duty due to special circumstances shall promptly co coordinate with the relevant site director. All personnel shall strictly comply with, with the prescribed regulations and rules pertaining to the access of classified files. All personnel on duty shall fill in the inspection form truthfully and correctly. If a, if a situation that cannot be handled independently should arise, personnel must immediately report the incident. Spare key to room 101 placed under the flower pot in the visitor's lobby. If used, please place it back in its original location. Oh, what? I did not mean to do that. What did I just do? <laughs> Press pause? I like a trophy. Sell it on the black market. Jesus! <laughs> Jesus! Uh it didn't just get me, apparently. <laughs> I forgot that happened. <laughs> There's a hung mannequin in that locker. Well, just remember the mannequin is hanged when we're dealing with 701. Oh, gone daughter. Come here, buddy. We finally let Gundar out of the bathroom. All I found so far. You're not even phased by something being hanged and you're dealing with the hanged king tragedy. Nope. Uh, that didn't get me. It's one to... of the SCPs that are connected to. I'm gonna turn sound down a just was, a bit. I was about to say, isn't isn't the new geeks Oh, thing with jig uh connected to the place that Lappy's from? The Hang King? No, they're two separate entities. No, I'm saying is isn't it connected to the place where Lappy is from? Abaddon? Well, some people think that they Abaddon. are from there, but they there's no proof. That, yeah, I don't think there's any proof to hang kings from Abaddon. I mean, it's possible, but there's no proof as of yet. I don't 
think Laffy's from there, but... Well, no, Laffy's from Abaddon. There's slight evidence to prove it, but there's no full-on proof. Oh, I thought it... I thought it was confirmed. No, well, like, it's... The slight evidence is basically... You know... Some of the things that he's capable of doing is the same as the people from there. As well as he, co they constantly hide their identity from the Foundation every time that they try and find it. Lassie isn't from there. They're just a chaotic sort of person that would find their way to get that power without being from there. But they're... Basically, it's it's a possibility is basically what, what it is. Yeah. It's not confirmed. Like... Now, I kind of believe it. I can kind of see it, but... I have the power. I am using this power with my mind to lift this up and down. I'm I thought you would take an SCP that's connected to the Scarlet King a little more seriously. I'm wait, customizing wait. a low fiber. Scarlet King is a bitch-ass motherfucker that pissed on the fucking moon. He fucked my wife. What? But... God damn it, why does no one here watch any of the Snap Cube dubs? God fucking damn I mean, it. I know, I know that one. That's like one of the most popular ones too. God, <laughs> we've definitely shown that to you, right? No. Yeah. I do not remember any of it. Remember, uh, remember, uh, uh, Eggman saying that he's pissing on the moon. Uh, no. Are we? Isn't this an SCP thing? Shouldn't we yeah. just focus on SCP stuff? I'm... New head cannon. The Scarlet King looks like Doctor Eggman. No. <laughs> hey there. No. I mean, like, there's nothing wrong with us having little side controls. Oh, yeah, and it's not distracting from the game. It's slightly a theory related. of what's going on and why this everything looks elevator. so fucked. To the seventh floor, then. So, anything I bet in they here? They tried to activate the play through mannequins, but. They were turned into mannequins. Oh my gosh, it's SCP-079. No. I wonder if Fatchet knows that SCP. Yes, I know what that is. I serve my king with my I am currently trying to customize a, a, a low writer. What? Let's leave that. That's not a good sound. Oh no, you need to go back to the reality anchor. That's awesome. Damn it! Holy shit! I'm very familiar with cognito hazards. I've been trained to deal with them. But this wasn't anything like that. I couldn't breathe. It was like there was a knot tied around my throat. I was weightless, hanging, gasping. No matter how much I struggled, nothing helped. That does sound terrifying. But perhaps it was just a nightmare, though. No. We wake up from nightmares, not from this. Are you kidding me? It's even more than before. I gotta put it out of here. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I guess I'm taking the stairs. That's locked. locked. 
So we gotta find a key. Oh, okay, those mannequins are gone now. I told you my theory, but I guess you didn't hear or didn't take it seriously. Jesus, fuck. I was saying, I bet he was testing the hanged man on mannequins, and the people turned into mannequins. Maybe. We just gotta find more of those notes. Oh, hi there. Speaking oh. of notes... Oh, incomplete script one. Uh, Duke Sortino, the chains of fate coil like a poisonous don't, snake. Don't read that. You're not supposed to read that. It said that you. the more you read it, the more likely you'll be infected. Oh, hi there. Ah! <laughs> well, like... That doesn't mean that Bright can't read it for, like, people who don't know what the fuck's going on. Uh, my fair? king. All hail my king. Okay, who here knows what SCP-701 is? I do. I know next to nothing about it. The Hang King's play. If you read it, I... you fall under its curse. Which is basically, at near at the end, people get hanged and murdered. And almost everyone watching it will become involved in the play and will die or become seriously permanently injured. Yep. Oh, hi there. <laughs> My king. It's one of the reasons why you can't read it. <laughs> um, do you need some privacy? <laughs> Just collect. Collect and back away. Oh, look, another script. Oh, hey, 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 hey. 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 Hmm, should I open this door? Let's go. This cognito hazard. Could it have something to do with SCP-701? The situation here is much more don't, serious Don't, don't think about it. Seven oh one is basically a big note. We. Could you do that? Yes, I can. A look, a friend. Oh no, they have that play angle. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Look behind them just to make sure you're not going to get stabbed by it. They have nothing. Okay. Oh, look. Incident clipping. On December 19th, local time, a mass redacted incident involving several students in Altarium of Princhester High School took place. Incident escalated to a violent riot with fighting on a mass scale. Incident reportedly took place in the auditorium while redacted, as all participant participants were in the process of redacted. This triggered the audience to attack each other, resulting in 13 deaths and 27 injuries. The cause of the incident is unknown at this time. So many files. This must be the archive room. Oh, hi there. Oh, another <laughs> script. Hi. Uh, hi. Stop getting upset at me. Oh, the only thing I can read is this. Miss Irene Mabel, recently a former assistant of Dr. Tyler, Tyler Cooper, Miss Lisa, Lisa Amanda was demoted because of her refusal to carry out the experiment orders given by Dr. Cooper. On the 16th of... On the 16th of, she was ejected with Class A and Nest 6 and sent away from the site. To fill the role, and at the behest of Dr. Cooper himself, site management has decided to promote you to the role of Senior Experimental Assistant. Your interview and authorization session will be held today at 13.30 hours, room 711. Please come prepared. From Encrypted. 
she died. Right, you don't know if they died unless I met, missed something there. I mean, she helped with the experiment. Oh, 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 then yeah, she died. Well, mm. she might not be dead, she might be one of the mannequins. I shouldn't say it like that. I'd be worse than death. Just pretend I didn't say anything. Okay? Okay. Oh, I got that. Oh, wait, what's this? Okay. Ooh, a knife! I think these are bits of information with 701. Yeah. I don't know. So, so we're, we're all joining it in the play, right? No. Fuck right you. Yep. Also, I'm very positive it would be considered a crime to put a child in a murder play where everyone dies. Only Even if you get caught. Right? <laughs> None of us are going near the murder slaughter play, including the child. Hey, child, do you want to go near the murder slaughter <laughs> No. No, we are... Did you really ask Penguin that? <laughs> anyway, Maybe. we got another journal. What happened at the site. At first, most of the on-site personnel were apprehensive about participating in this project, but after di distributing some SCP-701 documents to a few volunteers, they became widely circulated and the number of people coming to sign up suddenly increased. It's rather curious how it happened, and I haven't quite figured out the reason behind it yet, but it's welcome news. I'll take it as a good omen. Now I've managed to mobilize the entire station to participate. Every single person. It's my chance to prove I'm, myself. An opportunity like this doesn't come every day. Yeah? Does this that typically happen when 701 has already activated? Pretty much. Oh, they... They're totally ignoring the signs, aren't they? That's why everyone's dead or mannequins. Well, I'm pretty sure this, this site director piece of shit uh it's not mentally well jesus <laughs> and the game stopped scaring me for five minutes no this ought to get me to the I mean, floor yes <laughs> no i mean yes <laughs> Oh, well, yeah. It's a very confused yes, but... I have to go down. Usually when I see 7th floor, that means go up, not down. But okay. But that's fine. Oh! Look! It's the rehearsal notice. Rehearsal notice? We're not late. We can join the rehearsal. No, thank you. <laughs> Hatchet, do you want to join the rehearsal? I'm... I'm too What's busy that? customizing a car. Leave me alone. Floor floor again? I was just I on 6th think... floor, and now it's 4th floor. I'm gonna comment that most people would not be interested in joining the rehearsal for the murder play. Hmm. The way out of here might have something to do with That's like place. asking, oh yeah, do you want to die? Oh wait, hold on, what time did it say? First I'll notice it said at first uh, on the seventh floor it was nine o'clock PM. Spin my mouse! As fast as you can. I've got this spinning power. I feel very scared for the person you are playing at this time. Oh, wait. Nope. 
Why does it keep dinging? Because this is connected to the hanged man's tragedy. Did I get it right? I feel like I have to go at the 12 again. Because the shorthand should be past 9 for it to be 9 o'clock. Not the yeah. other one. The shorthand needs to be at least at 9 for it to be 9 o'clock. But it's not moving. The short hand's not moving. No, I didn't click. Gosh damn it. But every time I go at the nine, it dings. So... Yeah, right here. Oh, no. Okay, good. Maybe I can go down now? Oh, wait, another clock. Oh, it's different times. And now we do. It I don't like this. Oh, I got an achievement called Showtime. Oh no! I don't like that achievement stain when it's connected to 701. Oh! Uh, we need a reality anchor. Oh no. I remember this from the demo. I'm about to go into chase scene. Stop sending me back, you son of a bitch. Click that tab. No, don't look in there. You don't want to see there. Twitch, they're just hanging around. It's all fine. They're not dead. Occasion, like a I feel like that's kind of obvious. Around my neck, pulling tight, weightless, hanging. Actually, did they improve the graphics for this like area? I feel like yeah, they, they did. Struggling faces, yeah. Struggling, fighting. It will stop. Also, the hand—that is a very different hand. Ella, you hand. are completely safe here. Just more detail. Nothing can hurt you. Okay, let's continue. The situation there was much worse than expected. Much worse. I knew I had to get in touch with. I wonder how long it's gonna take until those guys realize she's infected. I managed infected. to find a phone. But they they, they already know. Oh yeah, that makes sense. This is Sparrow. Oh wait. for Bald Eagle. I'm at Pony Station on the. I think they floor. got rid of the chase scene. The situation here is much worse than expected. Oh. I need backup. Bella, are you sure this is actually what happened? What do you mean? Yes, of course I'm sure. Come on, Bella, try and focus. What are you talking about? Bella, you never made that phone call. I, of course I. Phone is. What? Literally I... bobbing like it was never there. The station was completely cut off. There was no contact with the outside world whatsoever. A phone call? That would have been impossible. No, I... But I saw... Okay, never mind. The chase scene's here. Mine 
You won't catch me, bitch. Or maybe you will. <laughs> I was using the run button, you son of a bitch. I was using run! When attacked by unknown sources, why is the run what you think I was doing? Am I not Damn. supposed to go that way? Probably not. I think it's the only way you can go. A bitch. Okay, maybe I was supposed to just die a bunch of times. Oh I think it was just I was just supposed to die a bunch of times. Anyway, yeah. Uh, entertain the stream. I gotta take a piss. Fun, okay. Okay. Fun fact about Splatoon. Um, the lore is you look at the gameplay and then you look at the lore and Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> the leap. The fucking leap. Also, apparently, one of the characters, um, Cuttlefish, uh, apparently only in the English translation, uh, he is racist. They just, in the English localization, they just decided to make him fucking racist. Really? That's not, like, in the original? Nope. The only reason he doesn't have, like, a fondness of, uh, in the Octos expansion specifically, the only reason he doesn't really like Octolings, or, like, the Octoling character, isn't because the fact that they're an Octoling, but because the fact that they were in a fucking, in the fucking military, and he was a military vet. Huh. Like, that, that's, that asset. In the original trans, like Japanese translation. Is American translation then saying something about what they think about? I'm not gonna say anything more about. It's that. not the American translation; it's the just English in general. Somehow that feels a little worse. Yeah. Not only that, he calls a uh, an Octoling character like that's one of the idols in the game, uh, articulate. Yeah, and, and she's one of like... the good ones, and she's also like very ob like her. She's very obviously black. So <laughs> I'm back. What the fuck are you guys talking about? Uh, Splatoon. Who would have known? What a of shocker! Course. What? I have Splatoon brain. Okay. I understand. Splatoon. Oh, the police were here. Huh? Feeling they didn't get there fast enough. Looks like something bad happened here. Wait, would a police even go to an SCP site? I expect not. Oh, we got the experiment report. Experiment project number site dash one oh five uh zero six zero three two. Object class unclassified. Description. This experiment w was a multi-object project including SCP Redacted, SCP Redacted, and SCP Redacted. The experiment primarily focused on researching the process of reality distortion led by Dr. George Thompson. The project lasted for a duration of five days. During the first three days, two Warshack tests were conducted on SCP Redacted and SCP Redacted. A level three hypnosis experiment was also conducted on level on three level D personnel influenced by SCP redacted. With a short period of time, the experimental subjects revealed varying degrees of immersion state and on the fourth day claimed being in a primary forest. Trees here are mainly Sequoia and Pinus Caribbea. On the same day, the human level of the surrounding environment was decreased to 37. On the fifth day, the described scene began to invade reality, causing the original experiment site and six experimental subjects to go missing. 
The project was forced to be suspended. There are no further investigation reports concerning this area. Dr. Thompson believes the experiment was primarily influenced by the reality distortion effects of SB Redacted and thus can be considered its creation SB Redacted-1. Detailed experiment record will be found in the internal doc document site 105 If I say that doctor makes me feel unsafe. Hmm. Let's go jump in there. Electricity needed. Oh. Well, damn. <laughs> I need electricity. Oh, we collect. Tyler Cooper's Journal 3. SCP-701 scripts have been out for a week now, and the participants have been have had minor rehearsals as described above, but one thing continues to baffle me. They always seem to recite the wrong lines. Every single person. It's strange, almost like it's orchestrated. And when I try to correct them, they become defensive and insisting that they've read the correct line. Other than the minor hiccup, everything else went well. I'm very much looking forward to the first rehearsal in room 705 the day after next. After f the full rehearsal, all will bear witness to the potential of SB701 and my name will become synonymous with it. <laughs> Tyler Cooper, the genius behind the experiment who managed to tap its endless potential. This is history in the making. Well, look, people. Let's see anything in here? Ooh. On April 27th, local time, five students were involved in a collective redacted incident at the Cleveland Institute of Arts Drama Club in, in Ohio, and another faculty member died of stab wounds. A janitor Always was, Ohio. Oh. <laughs> The janitor was taken into custody as a subject in the incident. His statements mentioned that four students used the redacted from the ceiling during rehearsals. This was then repeated by the last remaining person after they assaulted the teacher. The teacher died two hours later. Following the first investigation of the scene, it was determined that the janitor had no clear motive for committing a crime. He was currently undergoing further observation in a psychiatric hospital. Checking everywhere else. Wait, have you all seen the uh, must have been in Ohio like memes going around and shit? Oh, they're gone. Huh? Uh. That's never a good sign. It's probably from over there. Well, I'm going this way. There appears to be Jehovah's Witnesses on your doorstep. I already met them today. Fuck. Just to be on the safe side. Wait, I, I, I used it, but it opened the door. What? <laughs> it, it did the sound, but it didn't close the door. It opened it. Maybe you're, you're losing your marbles. Are you really going to say that? When you're they're dealing with a 701 incident. Yes. Oh, look. They're leading the way. Thank you. I think the last time I heard someone say that someone's losing their marbles. Oh, I killed them. Uh, it was at my high school where there was a substitute teacher who uh, was a cop. Right? What if that's and... an actual person? I don't care. You Compare me to a cop. You don't care about it. Oh, really, Andrew? Really, Andrew? Oh my god. Yeah, fuck you. 
Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. You're doing that specifically because I said, what if they're people, huh? Oh no, I'm the crazed axe murderer. If you watch my GTA streams, <laughs> real bright face. Fair enough. Understand. Make do and don'ts safety goggles. Do wear safety goggles. Don't not wear safety goggles. <laughs> This experiment involves relevant content. Wait, I just looked at the water cooler. Look, the two options are off, ready. What? Are you SpongeBob? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the two options are off and ready. <laughs> Those are my favorite. Oh, I think I know what that means. The one that says off is red. That might be hot. The hot water is off. The cold water is on. Or rather, the cold water is ready. The cold is always ready. I have made a beautiful ass low rider. Oh, that, that's not a thing you can take. Alright. Oh, hello! I have a feeling I need to put a device in there and, um, anchor. Well, it's not telling me to, so... That's right, bitches, I got the black box. What's in the box? The thing they need. It basically says what happened and how the site fell. Oh. Well, hi there. Uh. It helps the Foundation avoid breaches like this in the future. If you can bring it back alive... That's why you only send a D-Class. I don't think she's a D-Class! Yet. I did my job. Too dangerous for deep class to get people who are high rank. <laughs> I installed such powerful hydraulics on this car that it is extremely easy to, like, almost make Ella, it flip over with the hydraulics. Tell us the truth here. Oh. What do you mean? I'm telling you the truth. I completed my task. I retrieved the black box from Pony Station. Looks like the cognito hazards really did a number on her. What are you talking about? I'm fine. Bella, there was no black box in sight when we found you. That's impossible. I'm positive. I, I know I had it in the escape elevator. And there is no escape elevator in Pony Station. None of what you're saying adds up. <laughs> That's impossible. It's just impossible. Look at me, Bella. Try and focus. What really happened? What really happened? Bella, think carefully. I... 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 Oh, this is the testing. Okay, he's definitely coming out. Congrats? Or him. Uh oh. We're listening to the play. Oh. Yeah, that makes you part of the play. Respected. And all the audience members are manic. Oh, you're not. The crown is is partially inside of his head. I see. 
Turns out the mannequins aren't actually mannequins. Oh, no! And... I showed you multiple instances of you being a mannequin for a, for a bit. Oh. I don't think those are mannequins. I think that's what it's making it look like. Uh-oh. Yeah. Bring around the rosy, pockets full of posts. How the fuck do you fuck up that word in that clip? Bring around the rosy. Where do I go? I know I have to go behind him. Wait for a moment. Fuck, I got stuck on the chair. The chairs are so hard to get around. How do I get around him? I know I did it. Who did I do it before? Every direction I go, he goes. One of those the demo. Oh, I did it. Bring around the rosy, pockets full of posies. Go fuck yourself, please. Did you know that song is about death? Well, I was going to die. It's not simply about death, it's about the bubonic plague. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the final journal. The rehearsals have officially begun. Positively brilliant. My hands are shaking now as I write. This experiment, the exciting avenues ahead. Although some sections stray from the original SP-701 script, everyone remained perfectly in a character. Wooly consumed in the act. The audience, too, seemed to be entirely absorbed in the performance. A strange thing, though. I noticed a certain something. A person, perhaps, appear on the stage. He was no not one of our original members, but, well, he was quiet and reserved. Rather friendly. A tribute to Ambassador Alagada. That is, it must be the truth. The splendid, magnificent truth. Hang the traitors one in one. Hang the betrayal and the ignorance. Together with, with the news, hang them to alert all the world. Cheers and cheers all around for our great king. Let us bask in this glory. Together we follow him. The blood of the fools we offer to thee, hang king. The writing that Why? follows is obscured by bloodstains. That's not concerning at all. Perfectly fine. There is nothing, nothing, nothing is wrong. Nothing at all. Yes, I must kill all the mannequins. What if they're people? I'm Fuck them. The mannequins are standing for people or war people. They're in my I'm way. Positive of this. There are multiple things hinting towards that. They're all in my always... way. I feel like that I feel like that would just make Bright want to kill them more. Oh uh, look, more script. I'm just searching everywhere to see if there's any more collectibles. Yep, they're all dead. Ah, uh, this brings me great enjoyment. Worrying. Worry. I'm, yeah. Very. Normal for her. Or yeah. is it? It's normal for her. Normal for you, Bright. I'd be more worried if you weren't trying to murder Hobo. Oh, look. It's a bunch of people just hanging around having fun. They're not dead, Switch. No, 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 that's, that's not, no. The Twitch, they're, they're, they're just, they're just, uh, there. They're, they're floating mannequins. SCP 
right, they're hanging fairly, out. Right, I'm fairly certain Twitch is going to be fine with this since it's part of the game. <laughs> Unless you're threatening to do this to people. Those aren't mannequins! Oh look, pinatas! No! <laughs> right, I'm fairly confident if you beat those, it's not gonna be candy that comes out. Maybe it is. We don't know. We haven't tried yet. Oh, this yet. is new! This is new. Oh, that's so cool. Bella pledged to the Hang King. Uh. Oh. 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 His head and seek redemption with his blood. Jesus. Bella pledged to the Hang King. This is definitely new. Oh, that proves Jerry's point and theory. Incognito hazard again. I need to leave right now. Why are you speaking so calmly, lady? <laughs> this is just a normal day in Ohio. You bitch. Oh, can't. You can't beat me in a fight. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah, fuck you. I'm already loving this, like the new additions. This is cool. Look down. I'm pretty sure you can find it That's fine. Okay, this is definitely really cool. Pretty cool indeed. But man, that character is super infected. Okay, so anyone watching who who wishes to buy this game, it's worth it. Oh my goodness. Holy shit. Oh god. Oh god. Oh a knife? Fuck yeah. You will die, my, my bitch. Blood. I serve my king. It's not I'm fairly With certain that's blood. not what's happening. I serve my king. With my blood, I serve my king. You should not be blood. having your head in I that general region king. of. With my blood, <laughs> I serve uh. my king. With my blood, I serve my king. Yeah, fuck you. Okay, that was a lot cooler last time. Last time we just used that medicine thing to just kill him. We didn't go through all that. Her condition is unstable. I've just injected her with a sedative. That is awesome. Let her rest for a while. Thanks, Doctor. Well, let's go then. What? We haven't found the black box yet. You still don't get it, do you? Get what? What do you mean? A black box is merely a vehicle for recording the truth. But a black box isn't always a black box. You mean... That's right. She is now the black box. You got time for a cold one? Because our work here is done. She became someone very important. Oh, yeah. He's still very fucked up, though. 
I serve my king with my blood. Blissful suffocation. Sacrifice of a sin. Oh. The black box has been properly contained at Site 105 and pending further investigation. Above is the full record of the inquiry. Uh, wow. I think that goes on you, Gwed. Oh, wait, we have to drag these now. Wait. Oh. Wait. Flick to test text. Okay. Oh, wait. Uh, case study at this recording and archive. All right, that's it. That's it for SCP 705. I mean, it's not 705, 701. How was the first mission, Carl? I'd say it was smooth sailing. You did pretty good. Yeah. I. I Considering all you actually technically did is look at a video. Yeah. This is so far. This is my favorite game I've ever played of how detailed and everything is and storyline and everything it's just perfect i love it oh no the newman's own pizza smells really good <laughs> <laughs> just pizza smells really good oh, out of nowhere i'm sorry i'm sorry uh... it's just I randomly found out one day that Newman's Own isn't just a charity thing. It tastes really good. And I'm going to try the pizza today. And I smell it cooking downstairs. And it smells amazing. Nice. Good. I have to admit, you are, you are no worse than I expected. This is a... <laughs> Yeah, fuck you, gent. So how about a taco can, night for celebration? Can we beat the living fuck out of gent? Is that possible? So are we really using a living being as a tool to contain anomalous objects? Hey, MIT boy. I've seen a great many field agents. They are prepared to sacrifice themselves at any time in order to complete a task. Secure, contain, protect. For them, it is a creed worth paying the ultimate price for. And it is our duty to record all of this in truthfully and honestly. So that people may remember them forever. I understand. Anyway. Jen is still a dick. Yeah, you complete your first mission smoothly. We should celebrate. How about going for a drink? Old place. Count me in. Fuck you, gent. That sounds cool, but I can't drink too much. Also, let's get drunk. <laughs> should I be the Irish me? Or not top, be me at top, all? Top, top, You have to be responsible. Because <laughs> the answer you I would normally top say top would be the, the bottom. Top. You don't want Jerry, to what has blood for the blood god lady. Just go with the top. The thing is, I've actually never gotten drunk. I was about to say, like, you, it, you can't even get drunk, so what's the point? <laughs> I'll drink everyone under the table. <laughs> you know, speaking what you of would have drinking... To... Now, what you would have to do is swindle them by saying i have like 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 they like try to get them to bring up a drinking challenge and like ah, i don't i don't think i i'm kind of a lightweight you know 
Mm -hmm. and, th and then you just school them all and take all of them. Frank, every time Bright says fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Congratulations, Bright. You have probably just killed someone. Liver failure. Let's go. Let's go. Anyway, to celebrate the completion of my first ever archive mission, my colleagues threw a small party. It all started to grow on me, my colleagues, and this place. I started to really enjoy all of it. Maybe it was all the drinking. I dreamt I was lost in a strange cave. It was dark and damp and smelled decay. And in the depths of the darkness, I saw at all times two red dots muttering my every move. What a strange dream. Tequila is too strong of a drink. I need an espresso to sober me up. Fuck tequila, drink vodka. I was about to say, isn't tequila wine? <laughs> yeah. Tequila I'm is pretty cactus wine. It is a specific type of cactus. Yeah, and like, it, it, like wine is, if I remember, of the three types of alcohol, wine has the lowest alcohol content. Actually, tequila has a pretty high content for alcohol. Not as okay. high, as, not as high as vodka that I'm drinking right now. Oh, okay. I'm actually not remember... much has as strong as vodka, but you're supposed to be careful with vodka. I only took two shots, and I'm only going to take two shots, and that's it. Okay. <laughs> Unlike most Where people in my family, I moderate my drinking. <laughs> Though you also are the one that seems to have the least need for it. Yeah. <laughs> With being immune to alcohol. Here's the thing. With being immune to alcohol, I also don't have to drink water. I can avoid headaches. Like, I don't get headaches if I don't drink water after alcohol. I, I still drink Organic. water because I should. Because it, it dehydrates you. Like, you. you yeah. But, like, I don't have to to avoid migraines. What kind of company name is Finance Holdings Logistics? Uh, a good name. Sounds like something someone would actually name. Wait, I just see Bookworm's message immediately dies. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, time to drink an espresso, even though espressos don't do anything after alcohol. <laughs> Look, this motherfucker has a caffeine person. addiction and he's trying to justify it. <laughs> actually, for some people, espresso does help. Everyone has their own sort of, like... Uh, thing that helps them. For some people, it's greasy food, which I don't see how that would help, but for others, it's coffee. It it depends on the person. The best thing to use after drinking alcohol is water. The well, best thing to use after drinking alcohol is Irish coffee. <laughs> Irish coffee. Actually, that can be a good thing. Because a little tiny bit of alcohol can lower the headache. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Oh, oh darn, I just appeared and disappeared. So, if by tomorrow morning to avoid a headache that I'll never get, I drink a shot of vodka. No. <laughs> an Irish coffee is not a shot of vodka. It's a yeah, small it is. bit of alcohol in a coffee. I gotta go to sleep. Good night. Alright, see ya. Oh, I got another Great. file. Let's see what the file is going to be. Alright, Bright. Using here's... a small amount of alcohol mixed with coffee to make sure you do not get the hangover headache. That's what Irish coffee is. What is? Uh... What is SCP-660? Say 668? No, 660. What were you going to say? 660? Anyway. 660 is an irregular earth earthware jar, roughly 23 centimeters in height and diameter. Diam uh, it's a safe class uh, SCP. 
Oh, okay. So it's not dangerous. Anyway. It's capable of identifying, uh, I mean, I mean, uh, it's capable of indefinitely preserving all biological mm. tissue placed within it, regardless of external conditions or state of sample until tissues mm. are removed. Living tissue will remain viable and living organs will remain alive even when deprived of sustenance for extended periods of time. When the exact mechanism responsible for this is uncertain, yeah. Looks like so basically, oh. you put shit in this jar and it will keep it good until it's removed. Well, it looks like I won't be doing uh, a, a video of this SCP. Because it's done. Oh. oh. SCP-143. 143-1. Yeah. Well, it's obviously a Japanese... Oh, it's a Bladewood Grove. Isn't that what the one where the leaves are literal blades? So I remember that being in Minecraft. Like... Oh, one. The Bladewood Grove, it is Euclid, alive, arboreal, event-featured, plant. Oh, wait, I just see the description is right over here. <laughs> it's... Yeah, care must be taken when holding the, pe uh, holding the petals as the edges are razor sharp and can easily slice, slice through flesh if mishandled. Okay, so I did remember it clearly. is a plantation of 300 specimens of unique types of trees. They all look similar to Japanese sakura cherry blossom trees. They bear no fruit, which sakura cherry blossom trees don't bear fruit anyway because that's how they're bred. And uh, the only known way of reproduction is by careful own root quote, quote Pigeon using cuts, sample, saplings from an older sample. Oh. So basically, the only way to make more of these trees is to cut a sample from one of the older trees and plant it. Damn. All right. Next SCP. <laughs> I already see a bunch of things. SCP-261. Description, SCP-261 appears to be a large black vending machine. Oh, it's a vending machine. Some vending machine. Currently, SCP-261 may be used only 10 times in a 24-hour period, with no transaction exceeding the equivalent of 500 Japanese yen. Which is, I don't know how many in American money. You can always look up a conversion rate. Yen is about one cent, so it's about. Maybe. Yeah. Did you hear what I said? Yeah, again, it's one cent. So it's about five dollars. Oh, actually, one Japanese yen is equal to 0 0.0069 of a United States dollar. Oh, we're, we kind of suck in comparison, don't we? It is $3.46 for 500 yen. You do the one question. Damn. So it's less than five dollars.
No task. All right. I'm an expert person. So it's five minutes to four o'clock now. Just about ready. Gents, you're not coming? Nah. Yes! Doesn't suit me. What are you talking about? Hi, Carl. We're going to attend a monthly lecture. Monthly lecture? Each month, the Foundation invites someone famous to hold a lecture to share new knowledge and insights pertaining to SCP. First month's lecture, they invited Dr. Trevor. He holds a high reputation in the Foundation. Interesting. Count me in. And it's... I'll send you the link to the monthly lecture in just a sec. Alright. Well, now we go to the training system. <gasps> yeah! SCP-1762! My mirror is cooked. This That's is... The... I think this is Here Be Dragons. I think so. Um... Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, it's here at B-Dragons, you're right. Yeah! Oh? There are many stories in this world. Some are read widely all over the world. Some are hidden in dust and known only by a handful of people. This voice actor is really Today, good. Today I'm going to tell you a story no one else has heard before. A real story of mystery and wonder I'll be and back. adventure I'm gonna... and then right. you too will become the guardian of this that story has already, probably already been finished. the story takes place in a world of long ago the hero of our story is a little boy his name is daniel this actually sounds like a person reading a story this voice actor is really good one day out of nowhere Daniel got a serious case of chicken pox. It oh. made him look like a strawberry. <laughs> to make sure he didn't spread it to others, Mrs. Page, the principal, had him isolate in an attic. What the fuck? And so, in the attic he lived, all on his own. Why is music so much louder? The melody is so difficult. Don't give up, boy. You don't give up before you fight. Okay, can I actually change the music audio? Okay, background volume. Let's change that down a bit. That was a lot louder. Daniel was reluctant at first, but he trusted Mrs. Page, and he knew he should listen. And so he practiced the penny whistle. Oh no! 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 <laughs> Why? <laughs> you ready for a rhythm game, right? No. I am terrible at rhythm games. Fuck! Damn, Guitar Hero's really gone downhill. Fuck. Suddenly, he heard some strange noises in the corner of the attic. Damn it. Daniel decided to go over and take a look. I am terrible at rhythm games. I take my eyes off the road for one fucking second and I run over some oh. random civilian. Now I can explore. It 
was a mouse trap. What happens and when there's a like driving car? Paper dragon inside mm -hmm. of it. Daniel carefully removed it. It was marvelous and beautiful. The only problem was part of its wing was damaged. But Daniel found a way to repair it. What the fuck? Choose items to repair to Paper Dragon. A step one stapler. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel held the repaired paper dragon high, high up in the air, imagining that it soared over all the world below. He played and played with the paper dragon. Afternoon I'm not sun, voice acting Daniel there. had to fight his yeah. eyelids just to keep them open. Is it could it be? Or is this all just a dream? The next day, with boredom and loneliness weighing him down, he began to fiddle with the old radio. Thanks for that information. Okay, so you so don't live in, ball in California. Over to his feet. Where did this paper ball come from? Just as Daniel went to pick it up, the ball suddenly came to life, and it rolled away. Daniel chased after it. Wait, if I remember this, this is a lecture. Someone is reading this as a lecture. It, it picked me up. I keep a little shit. Gotcha. Just as he was about to seize the rolling paper ball. Suddenly, terrible sparks erupted from it. Before his very eyes, the paper ball began to grow. Bigger and bigger. <laughs> At that moment, a red figure suddenly appeared. The red figure quickly subdued the paper ball and threw it into a cardboard box. Daniel studied the red figure carefully. The music and voice acting right now is really good. It had a sticker on its fluttering wing. It was the paper dragon. I wasn't dreaming. Thank you for saving me. Daniel was grateful and very happy. He walked closer to the paper dragon. But the paper dragon seemed timid and afraid and backed away. Just then, Daniel had an idea. Oh no. He took out his penny whistle and slowly played a tune. No! <laughs> I gotta beat my total score. Fuck. 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 I, damn it, I keep hitting the wrong keys. This game. The paper 
Paper Cat Dragon enjoyed the, the sound very much. It began to move along with the rhythm, flipping up and down in the air. Soon the two were playing and dancing, just like old friends. Dragon traced out a beautiful arc in the air, communicating with Daniel in a unique way. My cherished friend, after many long years, we finally meet again. Tell me, how has your family been? A great thank you for playing that music for me. then changed back into the shape of a paper dragon and flew into the cardboard box. The box closed shut and a calm silence was restored to the attic. Daniel rushed to find a watercolor pen and marked the box with excitement in his fingertips. few days, the paper dragon came out often to play with Daniel. During this time, Daniel introduced many of his friends to the paper dragon. That cat's name is Mrs. Carter. Ever since I secretly pet her some fish for dinner, they've been good friends. That's Duke. This is Jessica's pet. He doesn't like rainy days, or Mrs. Carter. Only smoked sausages for his taste. And now, we are friends too. My name is Daniel. What's your name? The paper dragon flapped its wings, as if it didn't understand him. Hmm. Well, since you like the sound of the penny whistle so much, why don't I just call you Penny? I'll keep practicing to make you sound better. Uh, good luck, cause Daniel I'm not gonna get better. Rat, they rat played shit. baseball together rat in the attic. There, kid. Let's play cat. Unfortunately, you're but a simulation and you're controlled by a dumbass. Oh, this is cute. This is so cute! Full paper dragon. Is, is this I before the SCP Foundation got them? But just as they were in the so. middle of enjoying okay. themselves, oh, yeah. a violent shaking suddenly rose from the ground. At this moment, the box suddenly shot <laughs> open. Thick clouds of smoke billowed out, followed by several paper balls. Sorry, I got asked. Did that cat just get beamed with a baseball? Penny I think so. The paper balls, without a moment's hesitation, and promptly threw them back into the box. Penny then flew around in front of Daniel and rushed right back into the box. As the box closed, the earthquake stopped. Facing a friend's farewell without a formal goodbye, Daniel felt confused and lost. He moved the box to the center of the attic. Facing it, he practiced his penny whistle, day in and day out. As the days went by, Daniel's playing became smoother. Uh, I hate to break it to you, but I'm not going to get any One better. Day, the box suddenly began to move. Huh? 
one. I'll go odd to four. This time there were don't, four don't paper dragons. Like that. Don't pay it like that. But they weren't alone. Enemies began to jump out of the box too. fought fiercely against the paper balls. This time, the paper balls use new tactics. They come together into a single monstrous ball of paper. They began to shoot strong bursts of electric sparks at the paper dragons as they flew through the air. As they were hit, the paper dragons fell from the air, one after the other. monstrous paper ball. And then came another paper dragon. The monstrous paper ball was plastic to bits, exploding into smaller paper balls. Trembling, they struggled to escape back into the box. The sacrificed paper dragons were reduced to swirling shreds of paper. And a silence pervaded. Peace and tranquility were restored once again to the attic. Daniel saw the remaining two paper dragons lying on the floor, badly wounded. He rushed to grab some stickers and treated them at once. Suddenly, countless paper dragons began to gush from the box. The two wounded paper dragons were repaired and began to fly. Like two colored threads, they merged with the other dragons, flying in unison. The dragons moved like a tide, flying freely through the attic. Daniel eagerly took out his penny whistle. He showed all his paper dragon friends the results of his hard work and practice. No! turned it down, but I guess not. Uh, but I said I wasn't going to get any better. In the sweet melody of his playing, Daniel felt himself enter into the world of dragons. Oh, 
damn. Dragons merged into a long letter and floated down towards Daniel to tell their story. After the last war, the fantasy world enjoyed a long spell of peace and stability. But now, the giants have returned. They have launched ferocious attacks, trying to invade your world. the final defense, then we will have to destroy your room, for it is the last remaining entryway into your world. Please believe, this farewell will only be temporary. We will not be apart forever, and we will never forget our eternal mission of protecting you. Oh. At that moment, the paper dragons flew back into the box. Daniel still couldn't fully understand what the paper dragons had meant, but he had a vague feeling in his heart that he may never see his new friends again. A few days later, Daniel's chicken pox had fully recovered. He could now play the penny whistle very, very well. But the paper dragons never returned. Maybe it was time to leave and move on. I mean, I know that's what happened, but... Can you... Earthquake warning! Magnitude 6.2! A massive earthquake is hitting our town! All townspeople, please leave your houses immediately and move to safe open spaces! Just then, countless paper dragons shot from the cardboard box. However, it seemed like they were under attack, spinning and falling through the air in confusion. his best to get injured with the dragons. You will be healed by my hand. I am now... 049. You will be healed. Soon, he 
found that things would probably not be so simple. The giant's figure could still be seen in the thick smoke. of the paper dragons had had no effect, and the giant had only grown stronger. It was out back with the new ferocity. The paper dragons were simply no match for it. Now all but defeated, Daniel spotted a frail figure in the distance. It was Penny. It flew gently in front of Daniel and affectionately rubbed its head against his fingers, as if this whole crisis had never happened. Oh. Daniel felt like Penny was trying to tell him something, but he didn't quite understand what. Penny then left I think it's goodbye. and soared into the air with a determination in its wings. Suddenly, oh no. the other paper dragons seemed to be summoned. They flew through the air, all together in unison, responding to the call without oh, an ounce no. of hesitation. Goodbye, Penny. At that moment, Penny turned into a great red beam and rushed fast towards the giant. The other dragons followed. Shining together like a shooting star. At that moment, Daniel seemed to see a real dragon fly. No! The huge explosion from the impact drowned out everything else in the attic. The attic rained down with countless pieces of paper, the leftover scraps of the paper dragons. Daniel wanted to collect all of the pieces. He thought he could still fix them. Ah, uh, I gotta put down some. Achievement unlocked, a touching story. Isn't it okay if I tell the game to fuck itself? Maybe. This is a good game so far, but fuck the game. The art <laughs> festival was held as scheduled. Well, Daniel attended dinner. the show with his penny whistle. Oh no. Please don't. And now, Daniel Trevor will perform a penny whistle solo of a song titled Fly With Me. Please. He took the corpse of his best friend with him. <sighs> no. This is going to be a sad song. I know it. Just the same song. Fuck. Fuck. 
right, you're on stage. Doesn't make it any easier. Actually, Look, those right. that typically make people feel more on their performances. <laughs> right, look, happy memories about the dead dragon. I Did hate you. you. really say that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, here, woman, look over there at the dead dragon you love. Now dragon, look at all... I mean, I mean, <laughs> not dragon. Right, look at all the dead dragons flying around. That's cold. Wait, what? Wait. Wait, you're hallucinating dead dragons. <laughs> Seek therapy. And then she died. And that's how the story ends. Now, you might be wondering, what happened next? Are there still paper dragons in the world? Well, that's a difficult question to answer. But Jesus, honestly, the music's loud. That they are still protecting us somewhere in this world, just like they promised they would forever into eternity. They're all dead. They're all dead. It's sad. Hey, Bright. Did you what? see all those dead dragons? Okay, speaking of dead dragons, I just got an achievement called Here Were Dragons. Oh, oh no. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> That's not okay. Wait, is, is there a way to is there a way to get a like ending where they aren't dead? No. 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 They're canonically oh. dead. Uh, Stuart, dragon sore. What lovely paper dragons. I love them so much. Me too, but what happened to the cute little ones? SCB-1762 is now being attained at Re Relacore Research Institute, where Dr. Daniel, the super resident director of the Cold War Box, has remained silent. How do you know all this, gent? I thought you didn't attend a monthly lecture. <laughs> Under the direction of Dr. Trevor, Gent spent two years researching SCB-1762, so he knows far more than we do. Wow. Hey, I told you all that that particular SCP didn't suit me. Oh, come on, Gent. But really, imagining you tidying up files and piles of cute little fairy books is kind of adorable. Enough already. I'm getting back to work, but I'm going to stress the point again. That particular SCP did not suit me. I've been here for a month now, and I've been entirely just to the oh. job. Though the content of my work is simply to process archive files, it is work that will never bore me. A few absurd jokes aside, most of the archives are really rather fascinating. I have been having hallucinations lately, feel like someone is calling me, a voice slow and uncertain. They seem to be trying to communicate with me, but I cannot understand a single word they say. In fact, I had planned on seeing a doctor, but Zoe told me it was the typical rookie syndrome. It would clear up in a few days. I certainly hope that is the case. Wait. Wait. It's... Is Here Be Dragons trying to speak? No, no. it's been happening... In the game before, way before they put the uh, Here Be Dragon story. It's been happening since the beginning. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so. Sue Jint? Fuck you. Yeah. No one likes Jint. <laughs> Jint doesn't like Jint. I'm tempted to make a Discord role that says "fuck gent," <laughs> <laughs> and give it to everyone, and everyone's just gonna be confused as who the fuck is gent. <laughs> no, just just give it to everyone who's been in the. SCP three hundred. Oh.
I don't remember SP-300. That's the, if I remember correctly, it's the giant eel they get amnestics from. That's SCP-3000. Oh, that's 300? Yeah. Oh, I thought you said 3000. No, 300. Oh, I'll have to look that up. Uh, SP-300 uh, consists of an anti-glass perfume bottle. So it's perfume. <laughs> oh, that is a very fancy looking perfume bottle. What's, a, what's so anomalous about it, though? So we're about to find out. The great jury will tell us. Wait, I just re I just realized at the bottom of the things that I didn't click on, O5 mailbox is there. I have access to O5 mailbox. Is that it has approximately 2.4 cc of unidentified colorless liquid. No two drops have been shown precisely the same. Oh. Oh, and they base each drop basically gives a scene of Victoria era England oh. under the microscope. Interesting. That that is a very weird perfume bottle. Next is also, S. Uh, oh, huh? That's also, it. everyone, I am very pleased to announce that I'm about to sell six stocks of sporting goods, one doc stock of cash creation, and four stocks of organic produce to Chiliad International Incorporated. I feel like I'm playing a video game. Oh hey Hatchet yes, I this, am. this is an SCP we've we've dealt with because it's been upgraded to Keter status. So, we've obviously talked about this at some point. SCP-090. It's a black cubic structure made of unknown ceramic material. Object is classified as indestructible following test outline document 90B. Unattached. Of course. Thank, thank you, game. Each side is divided in 10,000 individual squares, an arrangement similar to a Rubik's Cube. Oh, it's, oh, it's that Rubik's Cube SCP. Alright, experiment 0240. We stepped up our experiments today by attempting to modify the cube itself. When D-Class personnel redacted, attempted to make a shift, SP-090 immediately created a 10-segment alignment of its own accord near the top left corner of its local side. Exactly two hours later, SP redacted, broke containment, and data expunged. Agents redacted and redacted were almost lost during the incident. Recommended force shift testing of SP-090 postponed. Upgraded Keter standard approved as SP-090 is obviously capable of causing events of its own accord, object may be sentient. So it's basically a Rubik's Cube that makes things happen. Like people. Yep. SCP-898. Object class, none. <laughs> Oh, it's safe class. SCP-898. Uh, Ob oh. Object class redacted. <laughs> SCP-898 is a memetic disorder specifically created by Foundation researchers for the purpose of serving as a defense mechanism against other memetic or mind-affecting attacks. Oh. Okay, so the foundation it's, just created a disorder. How? How did? What? 
I'm very confident that's not how that works. <laughs> it's the SAP universe. Nothing makes sense. Alright. Yeah. I'm probably gonna have to get back to going on another SCP, so before that, uh, I'm gonna take my final piss and, uh, get a charger for my phone, because it's almost dead. I'm start doing other things. I think I am almost peopled out for the night. Good night. Good night. All right, I'm back. Uh, anyway. Oh. Oh, no. The director just asked me something. Oh, no. Carl? Here, director. R. Oh. There's a temporary archive that needs to be sorted. The others are in the field, so you'll have to take over. Temporary archive. Am I qualified enough? <laughs> this mission is an emergency, Carl. It is beyond your current level. <laughs> but your recent performance has proven that you have the ability to accomplish it. I understand, Director R. Remember. Stay sane and always in awe. Alright. Get to it then. What SCP is it? SCP 239. Uh oh. Mandate from the O5 Council. Oh no, this is bad. Favorite storybook of SCP 239 Animals of Africa. Oh no, what SCP am I going to be dealing with? <clears throat> D6744, please provide your identification code according to the mission letter. Four and twenty blackbirds. Uh, tell me, Doc, when was the last time this rag on my head was washed? D6744, according to the 7th edition of the Security Regulation Amendment, you must first provide your identification code. Otherwise, you will be executed. All right. Four and twenty blackbirds baked in a pie. What? You're a real fan of these formalities. Everything's got to be right by the book with you. Oh God! Fuck! Holy shit! A stormtrooper. Mike Donald. That's not what that is. intrusion expert, former leader of MTF UP2. Code name: Spider. Now. Level D personnel. Number 6744. Uh, stormtrooper. <laughs> Enough with these damn formalities. What the hell you want me to do? D6744. Do you know about the witch plan? I 
I've heard the name, that's all. The plan is under the direct command of O5. Every last detail of the plan is protected by the strictest confidential terms. So what? D6744. What you're about to witness is top secret information of the Foundation. Oh. What the hell is going on? A few hours ago, something went wrong with the witch plan experiment. The energy of the human anomaly, SCP-239, is out of control and has begun diffusing outward, disintegrating everything it touches. You guys seriously never cease to amaze me. SCP-239 is now a ticking time bomb. She could go off at any moment. D-6744, I need you to enter the consciousness of SCP-239 to stop this bomb from exploding. The neural key is fully charged and ready to uh, enter up, the target quick, consciousness space. Begin the program. Consciousness uh, begins what's to link. Uh, D6744, wait, 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 we don't have just, much time left. Three, fuck, fuck, wait, two, wait, 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 wait. Size, Well, we partially know what SCP-239 is. Is that- does that actually spell out a word? Amos... Ma... Magum? Oh! Hi! Okay, I don't like this. Can you hear me? Son of a bitch! Fuck you! <laughs> the situation is urgent. If you were still the way you used to be, you would have done the same. Oh, hello there? Oh. Uh, hey, wait! D6744, what did you see? A little girl, but she ran away when she saw me. That little girl is SCP-239. What else have you discovered? Dickeros. The girl's consciousness is severely damaged. That probably explains her total loss of energy control. Then how should we proceed? Maybe going through the door? Okay, can't go through the door. Is this one of those geek class that looks like oh, previously like a researcher or something? There's some a shit. solution to this. It's gonna be in there. Probably. Good. D6744. You really are the right person for this mission. D6744, I must remind you, SCP-239 is no ordinary girl. She is uniquely dangerous. Do not forget. Yeah, I got it. I'm dangerous too, don't forget. Oh shit. Rainstorm whisper, butterfly, garden, activate wings, fat, passion, fresh, resin, aurora. It's like someone having a stroke during ritual. Ow, that hurt. That hurt. Get me the fuck out of here. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, right! Oh, fuck. That was a bad idea. Oh, wait, I lived. Okay, so. It was. I was actually supposed to go left. Oh. Fuck. When attacked by none of the sources, why is the run? Fuck you. <laughs> How many times is gonna tell you that? I don't. Okay, next time go left. Yeah, 
Fuck you, I'm out of here, bitch. Ooh. Motherfucker. I wanna go this way. Aha, I chose the right way. I think it's getting too close to me. Okay. I made it. Fuck you. Fuck you. I think, uh, I think I'm gonna go get some coffee, so I'll be back. Okay. SCP-239. Move the target object to the designated location. Ability control test number 125 has failed. The voltage intensity must be insufficient. I'll need Fuck you, Pierce. New equipment that can handle a greater voltage load. I need to get in there. Oh. So tired. Sleep. Let me sleep. Just a while. Wait, is SP239 a witch child? SCP-239 is still diffusing outward. What's your situation? The situation's more complicated than I thought. I'm gonna need more time. Be quick about it. I got it! Quit rushing me! Have you heard? Heard what? O5 is displeased with the slow progress of Dr. Pierce's experiments. They've appointed a new director to take over the project. You sure it's not just a rumor? Today's morning session was chaired by Dr. Pierce. It's true. Trust me. If I'm being honest, I don't really like Dr. Pierce. Something about him, you know, just gives me the creep. <coughs> He's coming. Stop. Oh. Okay. Obviously not going that way. Operations for the experiment coming along. Equipment's been checked. Everything is ready. Good. Anything to be aware of? Sam went to the counseling room after yesterday's experiment. Give him an injection of amnestic agent and let Arthur take his place. There's a play card. Ah. I 
obviously I can't go that way. There's gotta be something I can activate. Voltage strength to 250 kilovolts. Dr. Pierce, the heart rate of SCP-239 has now exceeded 160. Her physiological indicators are quickly approaching their limit. Perhaps we should consider pausing for a while. Continue. Pressurize. Set to 250 kilovolts. Go. Now. SCP-239. Pay close attention to my instructions. Crush that car in front of you. Wow, they did it. What's the meaning of this? Sean Pierce. Why that? Long time, Sean. What's it been? Seven years? I've got no time to play catch up with you. Not a great first impression you're leaving either. Barging into my lab and interfering with my experiments. According to Foundation security regulations, I could have you detained, you know. <laughs> Still the same old temper. You haven't changed one bit, Sean. Well, if you want to talk business, then let's talk business. You should have a look at this first. This is... No. This is O5's mandate. Effective immediately. Which plant and all SCP-239 experiments will be led by me. No, that's... No! This is a mistake! It's not possible! Don't take it personal, Sean. The simple fact is that the development of SCP-239 is moving too slow. They want a more ambitious approach. A new process, if you will. A new process? What new process? Just what do you know about process? Please, Violet, enlighten me. Sean, let us end our bickering with this. Victory comes to those who fight, and to those who last. Witch child. Maybe. Bird's nest, do you copy? Copy, loud and clear. Just what exactly is witch plan? That's not your concern. Focus on the mission at hand. Stop the spread of energy diffusion released by SCP-239, and do it quick. Yeah, sure. Oh. Well, that was pretty quick. That's the end point. I did that first try. Ordered, have arrived at C3 warehouse. Good. How's Fuck the yeah. containment room remodeling coming along? The bed and daily necessities are all in place. The demolition of the ARB potential development plan will be completed next. Good and good. Now, how about the formal meeting with our little princess? Hell yeah. Hello 
there. Uh, hold on a second. I'm not gonna hurt you. God damn it. When you feel scared, just close your eyes. Imagine something beautiful, and those terrible things will disappear. Who... Who are you? My name is Violet Tattoo. You can just call me Violet. I will take care of you from now on. No one will hurt you ever again. Alright, that's it for today's bedtime story. Bye. We'll have a little test tomorrow. You need your rest. Afraid. Sleep. Nightmares. SCP-239, are you afraid of having nightmares again? Yes. Afraid. Just remember what I told you. When you feel scared, just close your eyes. Imagine your little friends in the stories or running out of their books to come play with you. Then you won't be afraid. Get some sleep now. Remember to imagine those beautiful images. Oh. Stops its hunting. It pulls back and whispers. There should be beautiful spotted curtains to block out the harsh sun. The robin shakes its head again. The giraffes speak from way up high. The house should have a high roof, and place should hang from the ceiling. The robin flaps its wings and flies away. The hippos let out a loud yawn. The house should be built in a pool, so we can bathe anytime and sleep anytime. The robin shakes off the water. Why did I come back to hippos? Okay, so I found out what SCV-239 is. What? The witch child. Oh. Yeah, apparently I found out, uh, Dr. Pierce? In order to get the witch child to use her powers, I forgot that he uh, shocked her with higher and higher voltage till she did it. What the fuck? Yeah. The O5 like forced them off of it. They did not like it. it hurts. Oh no, not Flappy Bird. Bright's a bird! Fuck you. Bright is a bird! Who? Who? Bright is a bird. I hate all of you. Even the game knows that you're a bird. Fuck off. You cannot deny that you are a bird. Yes, I can, bitch. You're saying that you are not currently a bird? Yes. Then what are you? A lion. 
That is not what a lion looks like, Bray. Well, I see three of them right there. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Failed, please restart. You're, all, you're not very good at being a bird. <laughs> Shut up. Because I'm not a bird. No, it tracks because you're bad at everything you try, including being a bird. Fuck you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Watch where you fly, you bird. Fuck you. Not... Why do I have to play Flappy Bird? It is subjectable to the case that you are a bird. I hate you. I, I am I am one of the female lions sitting down there at the floor. Which is definitely why you just outright said I am playing Flappy Bird right here. Yep. Which means that you are the bird. Nope. I I am controlling this via, via a remote. Nah, I'm pretty sure you're just a bird. Shakes its head and flies away. Why is there a buffalo there? I don't think that that's a rhino. It flies and flies. Oh, it is. <laughs> that is a rhino. The rhinoceros says, Everyone travels with all sorts of strange questions inside, but after traveling far and long enough, the answer that everyone finds is that the truth is not far. Or it lays within our very hearts. Robin, what kind of home do you want? The Robin says, the home I want is... Uh, now, in actuality, the rhino said, uh, 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 because rhinos are stupid. What's going on here? What's happening? SCP-239, we have to work and rest according to plan. But I... Alex, clear up the mess. At once, Director. SCP-239, this is all for your own good. You must be obedient and complete tomorrow's test. After that, I'll give you a gift. A gift? All right. Back to sleep now, So she's also fucked up. Got it. Wait, now where do I go? Find the rhino. Oh. I say this definitely not secretly hoping that you get gored by a rhino. Fuck you. Well, I mean, well, here's the thing. You actually probably wouldn't get gored by rhinos, because did you know that rhinos do not attack oxpeckers? Fuck off. <laughs> if, if she were here, she would definitely love to get <laughs> I get bored. <laughs> it's not bored, gored. Yeah. What the fuck? Must be completed at once. The formal presentation is next week. I'll see to it, Director. What shall we do? What is all of this? Why are we in Wall-E all of a sudden? Destroy them. Oh shit. Oh, these are all birds. Right. They're killing your kin. You must exact vengeance upon them. Good for me. Happy. This poor child. I'm trying to fix her mind and she's getting fucked. D-6744 calling bird's nest. D-6744 calling bird's nest. D, you even calling the bird's nest. I, I, I want, I want to, I want to hug the child. Director Tattoo. Yeah, same. The experimental site she has needs been fully prepared. The report may begin at any time. Excellent. If today's experiment goes smoothly, I will have full control over which plan. 
Go, check again to be sure that everything is in place. There can be no omissions. At once, Director. Four, you must ensure that no dead bird corpses are found. You know Incinerate all birds. You know what's actually sad? The only doctor is actually apparently nice to 239 at this point. Is Dr. Clay, who just wanted to end her quickly. We'll be presenting which plans progress to the <laughs> Which is sad. Right, yes, that's just it. Listen, SCP-239's abilities are greater than you could ever imagine. She is infinitely more powerful now than when she was born. Your experimental procedures lack the proper controls. Any mistake, no matter how minuscule, could have irreversible consequences. Dr. Pierce, let us not forget that it was your previous missteps that caused us to miss the ideal incubation period for SCP-239. If we don't cultivate her using my method, the window of opportunity will be closed for good. But listen, my God. if you go about it using your method, you will repeat the accident that happened seven years ago. You do remember, don't you? Heisenberg, Freeman, Claire? Enough, Sean. Don't you dare bring up their names. Sean, the progress of civilization has always come with sacrifices. Hey. You don't get one without the other. To have the chance to harness the abilities of SCP-239, no price is too great. Oh my god. You are playing with fire. Dr. Uh, Pierce, yes. it's I time. love fascist mindsets. I suggest you go to the first floor to get yeah. front row seats to civilizations. Like I said, Dr. Clef is the kindest doctor to 39 at this Listen point. Listen to me! <laughs> Violet! <laughs> Which is disturbing. Uh, just See, let the girl be. Yeah. You were saying that's sorry, I cut you off. Or I was just saying, uh, sarcastically, gee, I love fascist mindsets. Uh oh. Oh no. I am Violetta Two, and this is the meter test part one. No. What the fuck are they gonna do? SCP-239. Do you remember our friend here, the little robin with the pretty feathers? Can you make it come out and play with us? Should not control SCPs. Oh my God. Idiot. I 
Have they not learned anything from Abel? You can't control SCPs. She died. Stop it, SCP two three nine. That's an order. Stop now. God have mercy. God damn it! Why won't it open? Sean, Sean, Sean! The backup door outside. Help me open it. Come on, quick! Violet, I told you you were playing with fire. Cut the bullshit and let me out. She's lost her mind. What are you doing? Open it. Open the damn thing. No. No, Violet. I can't. What do you mean? SCP-239 is out of control. Why would I open the gate? What the fuck are you saying? Open it. You're right, Violet. Victory comes to those who fight and to those who last. Fucking crazy, Sean. This is not that. Open the fucking thing. An accident of this magnitude. It's just what I need to prove myself. Sean, Sean, don't think like that. We can work together. We'll do it your way. Your rules, your method. Whatever you want. Uh, we'll do. I know. I'll quit. I'll resign. Which plan is all yours? I will use these learnings to improve the plan and equipment. I've never been so certain of success. No, Sean. Let's not think what? like that. Let's talk things through. What? You have proven invaluable, Violet. You will not die in vain. No, Sean, no. No, 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 you fuck. You fuck it, Sean. I quit. Sean, did you... Be honest, at the foundation, if that was going on, they would not open those doors. Like, if an SCP was going out of control, those doors would stay shut. They would not open it. As fucked up as that would be. So, technically, he followed D64. procedure. <laughs> The energy output is getting out of hand. How much longer? So this is the witch plan, huh? Are we anything more than tools to you? It's not about that. This is about saving the world. Either you fix this, or we're all screwed. That's what I'm doing. Then move your ass and do it already. Yeah, suck my nuts. Quitting <laughs> the foundation was the best damn decision of my life. You know what's funny? This D class kind of talks like how I would in this situation. I would literally bust at the researcher. I mean, they literally just did say that they quit the foundation, so... <laughs> it's even more accurate. Oh, what the fuck is this? Oh, I can't connect to that? Okay. This is a lot link harder. All, link all fragments in the correct order. Fragments may only be linked once. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, I, I know what I need to do. Watch this. Whoops, no. Wait, no, I fucked up the right thing. That's the wrong. Boom! <laughs> I now present to you the ARB Potential Development Device 2.0. This device is capable of not only better stimulating the potential of abnormal objects, oh my God. but can also automatically turn on the respective electric field control. Yep, the electric so bitch is now control again. Reset amplitude. This will oh. ensure that the experiment is full uh -huh. with zero chance of runaway. The tragedy of Director Tau 2 cannot be repeated. We must learn from our mistakes. We must not forget the enormous power of SCP-239. 
and we must treat security as a top priority. Otherwise, all of this will be for nothing. Do not forget the credence we live by. Secure, I'm contain, not going to say what I wanted to because this we must uphold it. <laughs> I think he was talking to the O5 council. Oh uh, yes, how 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 to know that uh how 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 to know that uh you're following that that security is your top priority. Keep fucking with the thing that keeps leading to deaths and specifically doing it in a way that's abusive to said thing. Alright, we got one Good agree. Job. Uh, we got two agrees for an O5. Three agrees. Okay, it's too late. Abstain. <laughs> Abstain? Three. What, yeah. he's just like, I don't want to vote? Yeah, an O5 council, when there's, when there's votes, there's three votes that you can do. Uh, agree, disagree, and abstain. Fucking fence sitter. Fucking centrist ass piece of shit. Yeah, there was actually a, I forgot which proposal, but basically, uh, the ones that abstained and disagreed, uh, the, one of the agreed O5s took out a gun and shot the ones that disagreed and abstained. And murdered them. And went on with the plan. Jesus Christ. This is the foundation. <laughs> Hi, hello. It's okay. I just want to talk. No. Stay away. What happened? It, it's not your fault. Jesus. Shit. She is mad. I mean, it's, it's not even the foundation look even less like a good entity. I mean, it's not even it's not even an illusion of democracy because there's no voting to get the O5 councils up there. Spamming power is too great. My Minecraft spam finger is too powerful. What does that even mean? <laughs> shit this this guy thought oh you know it's a good idea let's just start electrocuting the child oh now i gotta hey can you just throw that shit at them please please what if i could oh Uh 
I'm pretty sure that amount of kilovolts will kill a person. So isn't she freaking a model? Uh, I don't know. Holy shit, I actually made that. Oh, come on. That's impossible. Fuck. Uh oh. I absolutely hate these people. Okay, I didn't fuck up. I was about to say, I'm fairly confident you were meant to fail that, considering... Oh shit. It's like the Hanged King. <laughs> oh jeez, that... I didn't expect them to be there. Around the damn corner. I'm dead. No. It's apparently, I think it's supposed to be Sean Pierce. Oh, okay. Like imagery. I didn't expect him to be right the fuck there. So apparently, I gotta. Sneak around them. Okay, never mind, he saw me. Okay, there's no way that way. There's nothing that way. There's nothing that way. There's nothing that way. The thing is, I don't know where to go. There's nothing telling me where the fuck to go. Or maybe there is. Maybe I need to pull this way. Well, if my character. This is not easy. You have one sneak, and if you get caught, you're fucked. You don't see me, you don't see me. Oh, he's going that way. Ha! <laughs> See you, motherfucker! Oh, 
Oh, how, I don't know how I avoided that guy, but apparently I did. <laughs> oh. Done. The build anchoring effect. That's the Hold achievement on. I got. The of energy of SCP-239 has subsided and is now beginning to dissipate. We have regained control. But just hold on. Again, a job well done. The synapse is now ready to be disconnected. Can you just hold the fuck on and listen for a damn change? What's the matter? The problem hasn't yet been solved. She's still lost deep in her mental anguish. That's not our concern. The crisis has been averted. Innumerable lives have been saved. Your mission is complete. My mission's not complete until she is stable. Compassion in times of desperation leads only to the destruction of yourself. Three minutes. You owe me that much. For all this, you owe me. I can enter her subconscious and fix this. Three minutes. Very well. I'll disconnect the synapse in three minutes. Compassion in times of desperation only cause disaster. I'm fairly certain that compassion in times of desperation tends to be one of the best ways to avert disaster. What? Also, like, in this situation... Oh, for fuck's sake. No. Fuck, how do I do this? That's the only way I can do that. No, I forgot. Boom. Damn it. Okay, what the hell? There's no way you can go. They blocked off everything. What things you can block, right? Come on. Well, the right one, I guess. The turtle dystocia, profuse bleeding, send to operating room now. I guess I gotta go that way. I love right. stop screaming sound effects. Oh, hi there. Oh, what the fuck? What do you mean, mysterious voice? Do you already know who that voice is from? Congratulations, a lovely princess with beautiful blue eyes. Have you thought of a good name for her? She is my beautiful angel. I am Sifu. Don't blame yourself. None of this.
this is your fault. Maybe you weren't meant for this one. stickers and colorful lights everywhere 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 I go they twinkle twinkle like little eyes so many good books with the cutest animals inside they only say nice things to me they always want to chat with me so many beautiful decorations Hey. Mountains of toys. I can play all day, anywhere I want. I'll have my favorite toy, a beautiful carousel. I'll ride and ride, and it will take me anywhere. There, I will not be yelled at. I will not be punished. I can sing as much as I like. I hope. I hope so much to live here forever. Awesome. My home. Saguros is home. Apparently, SCB-239 does not like sharks. No. Oh. 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 He does. My head. Take a deep breath. Just some minor side effects from the forced disconnection. She's not coming back. What? In the end, she chose to shut off her subconscious. She'll sleep forever, like a plant. Maybe that's for the best. Anyways, our primary concern is the incident report. It'll require some brainstorming. Not my concern. I'll arrange for someone to take you back. See you on the next mission. <laughs> Not in this lifetime. Oh. Back to mission system. I hate everyone who was in that involved in that. Can I collect all of the data? You missed some. No, I, I got it all. I saw the last mission. Because it shows red right here, which means I got it all. I have depression. I have anger. I have angry depression. <laughs> well done, young man. Thank you, Director R. R. <laughs> But the re reality distorting anomaly classified as Keter, it would seem keeping the subject in a state of comatose is the only viable solution. Mm. You're right, this place is not what I thought it was. So I'm learning to understand and abide by the rules. Uh. When I handed this task to you, I was fairly rather worried about whether or not you'd be able to complete it, it seems you're ready. What do you mean? Carl, someone wants to talk to you. New message from unknown contact. Open. Hello, Carl. Who are you? Doesn't matter who I am. What matters is who are you? Carl, that's just a... It's just a name, a symbol. I'm the one who will guide you to the answers. Should I do? First, you need to complete some warm up exercises. Take the elevator to the 15th floor. Sounds like a fucking cult initiation. Mm -hmm. Either that, 
or the or the O5. Why the fuck? <laughs> well, why the fuck would they make you an O5? All no, you've done is like. Not me. I'm saying the person doing it is the O5. Oh. Like you know, like telling me to do this. Well then, why? Well, why why would they be in contact with you specifically? I don't know, do you understand anything Note 5 does? <laughs> oh. I know it's nowhere close to done, because we still got 610 and 049 to do. Seeing what they did to that kid, I really want to. <laughs> Enter room. Wait for a work notification. Did I actually choose the correct room or? Zero four two six. Zero four two six. Six seven nine. Nice to be. How do I get? Okay, which? Uh, oh yeah, it was B. I think I need to go this way. Right, what were the numbers again? Go back. Uh, I see it right there. Tax information 426. It's right there for me to do. Yeah, you're not you weren't protecting that kid very well. Item SCP 426, object class Euclid. Confidentiality level three. All non-level D staff covered in this manual have had their identities obscured. The events recorded in this manual can be accessed via the digital library. Level three authorization required. Use of this manual is covered by the confidentiality clause. Any staff found in breach of the clause will be sub subject, subject to immediate demotion. Confirm. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> We're now playing an old game. That's CP426. We're about to find out what it is. We just lost a Derma. We just regained a derma. Oh my gosh, this really is like an old timey game. Test subject D 081 named Jason Grius is a 28 year old black male in good health with no history of mental illness. He was sentenced to life imprisonment for murder. Nicknamed Chimney, his psychological condition is normal before he enters site redacted. However, he developed negative and pessimistic indices while in prison, along with se severe symptoms of nicotine addiction. Physical examination records showed that D-081 did not acquire any physical disabilities. Oh, I thought there would be more. Dated, skeptical, right. and exhausted. Life and living are tough. When being awake and sleep are no longer regular, only the number of c cigarettes left can give me a general sense of time. Only smoking can get me out of bed. Oh my gosh, I am playing an old-timey game. Also, they just said no history of mental illness. Wouldn't nicotine addiction be considered a mental illness? 
because they're in the line of jail. Or am I misunderstanding the categoriz categorizations there? Maybe. Daniel probably in a mirror, but I don't don't need to see my face. This. I need to smoke on the toilet first. However, when I go to the toilet, nothing. There's no interaction. Why don't? Do they give us something that we don't even have the chance to use? Got the cigarette pack. Ah, uh, there we go. At least you're still alive. That's right, man. I've been paying attention. You know, I can feel your life energy. What? Not, okay. Not just yours, but all lives, the transitions that happen. Making the most of life transitions is a beautiful thing, and they exist in abundance here. Okay, so... While... I have never been to prison, I am fairly confident this is not standard morning conversation. <laughs> also... I'm just wondering how much work they actually put into this game. Also, I was meaning to ask, uh, yeah. um, how long were you playing the stream? I think I said it's like 2 o'clock, why? No, okay, I was just wondering. Yeah. I'm still wondering how much time and money they put into this game, because this is good. Yeah. <laughs> What the fuck are you talking about? They always lead to unknown opportunities where everything is uncertain. I can see the man-made chaos, distorted by another force that can't be called life. Idiot. Guy, I'm, I'm, pretty, huh? I'm fairly certain you're not supposed to be using uh, hallucinogenics in prison. <laughs> anyway. At least you're still alive. Yeah, what a great ending. <laughs> they were talking while he was taking a shit. I love D-081 time for your task. Let me finish a cigarette. Come on, give me a break. I always follow orders, don't I? I can't even smoke anymore. Hurry up. Damn it. This is so interesting <laughs> that we get to play a really old timey game and a really good game. This is, I love it how it switches you to do different game scenarios. Yeah. Get ready. Uh, I get a security check. What can you detect in this thing anyway? No weapons, no metal, no smoking in the observation room. No smoking, you have something against me, huh? Shows hands. B-081. I can hear you. What do you want me to do this time? There's a room on the bottom floor. Your task is to enter the room and observe the object on the table. Come back and report your findings once you've completed the observation. You understand? This big foundation is full of fucking freaks. Jesus, I'll never get used to this. I can't make this something less gross. Why does he run like that? I don't know. Uh, Sphinx New Enigma. Waiting for you to solve it. Is this supposed to be opera? Is free squash opera? Oh no. Come oh, on! No. <laughs> Not the toaster! Come on! Are you kidding me? Yo, doctor. Hello, can you hear me? There's nothing wrong, right? 
I don't want to see this random guy shove his cock into an electrical light, into a plug-in. I don't think they're gonna have them do that, actually. I may be misremembering something. I remember one of the effects of the toaster being at some point someone tried to plug themselves in using their cock. No, I, I, I don't think they use their cock. I could have sworn I heard it retold like that. Looks like I need to observe this in here. What the hell is this? But observe the cock. I'll have a cigarette first. Where are my cigarettes? Ha. Huh. They'll never guess where I hid my cigarettes. There's a cigarette mule. Damn, that's good. D-081 returns to live reported to the doctor. You can start reporting. Well, on the table, I'm a toaster. I'm about seven inches wide and six inches tall, and I'm made of stainless steel. Anything else? What else? I'm not sure what else you want me to say. Anything else? I'm not sure what else you want me to say. I'm a toaster. Put bread in my slot, and I'll make a perfect fucking piece of toast. Good, you can go back to your room now. Good. What did I just say? Chimney, there's something different, some wonderful smell on you. What the f What is, is this? Yeah. Is this guy having a stroke? Maybe. What is it? I sense it now. You're gonna experience a new life, a different kind of existence. Shit. That sounds fucked up, man. You've changed. You're no longer bound by limitations. There's no beginning and no end. Only chaos. Can you there's shut up? Only, there's only cock in an uh, electrical fixture. Bookworm says it's that good toast smell. Yeah. That was the joke. Haven't you heard? <laughs> that the bird is the word? <laughs> sorry. No. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you certainly are the word, but no, that's not what I'm talking. Fuck you. Um, it's said that uh, if you smell burning toast randomly, you're having a stroke. Oh. <laughs> Why is it always the burning toast smell? The false smells. Uh, I don't even know if it's true. Anyway, is this the end of a life? I don't know. Maybe you're involved. You're evolving. Evolve? What is this, Pokemon? <laughs> You're gonna evolve into a motherfucking toaster, bud! <laughs> You're gonna mega evolve! Your type's gonna be metal, and your only move is gonna be sit there! <laughs> <laughs> and cook toast! <laughs> That's all you do! Hope you have an exciting fucking life as a goddamn toaster! Oh, Bookworm actually didn't know about that stroke thing. Yeah, I've heard it before. I don't know how accurate it is. Why am I even trying to understand what you're saying? You're feeling different now, right? I do feel strange. I think I'm just tired. Life needs motivation. Maybe you just need a cigarette. A cigarette? No, no, no. I don't need a cigarette. I need to charge up. Because I am... I am a toaster. I need to be plugged in to start working. He's gonna shove his cock in the light. Wait! What the <laughs> Wow, I am a toaster. I feel so good. What was I doing? I need a charge. Yes, yes, I gotta charge myself up. Damn, there's no plug. They gave me all these cigarettes, but no plug. Maybe I can make one myself. Mega evolved into a toaster! He actually did it! Got a piece of iron pipe. Got a piece of cloth. Figure out how to make a plug. Got a wire. Choose two of the floor. <laughs> cigarettes! Choose cigarettes! <laughs> <laughs> no.
No. <laughs> oh. Wait, really? Good, this is it. I can't wait to charge up. He's gonna die. He's gonna shove us. Test report D 081 observed SCP 426 closely for about 30 minutes. During questioning, he could only provide a first person description of SCP 426. D 081 returned to his cell and began experiencing hallucinations, believing that he was a toaster. SD 081 died of electrocution after plugging in a self-made metal object into a socket because he felt that he required charging. If I remember correctly, you had to... It had to take up to four, two weeks for it to actually make you do that. Well, maybe he's been doing this for two weeks. Fair. And maybe he shoved his cock into his a metal apparatus and electrocuted his cock. Alright, test subject D-082 named Dorothy Wilson is a 65-year-old white female with no history of mental illness. D-082's psychological evaluation results were unknown when she entered site redacted. The analysis shows that she is mentally strong and resistant to interrogation. She has caused several cellmates to commit auto-homicide and several guards to betray the redacted prison institution. D-082 was diagnosed with lymphoma cancer before she was recruited by the Foundation. She was cleared for test testing with reconfirmed that her lymphoma cancer would not affect her SCP-426 test. Alright. Alright, cancer lady. Go in there and think you're a toaster. What What happened, dear? I fell asleep. I'm sorry. Maybe I misheard, but you were shouting. Oh, have rude for me. What was I yelling about? Every time I fall asleep, I think I never wake up again. You were yelling, bread, give me bread. I dreamt about my children. Whenever I think of them, it fills me with regret for what I did. What did they do? Did she, did she, did she cook her children? Seven months ago, I was diagnosed with cancer. Oh my god, I'm sorry to hear that, Miss, Miss Wilson. I've made a lot of mistakes in my life. I came here on my own free will, you know. I think of this as some kind of redemption. I'm sorry, we can't chat anymore. I can tell you more about my children next time. What did she do? She toasted her children. And now she is a toaster. People should take care of how they look, even if they're old. I wish everyone thinks like this. Here's Blockman. Oh. I was saying, here's Blockman. Alright. D-082, time for your task. Hello, young man. You don't look very happy today. <laughs> what happened? Well, she... No, no, Bookworm. She probably cooked and then ate her children because they were good. Okay. I'm not going back to that empty room for another day, am I? I know I shouldn't complain, but it's awfully boring. Don't mind me nagging. You know I don't have much time left. Lady, you're, you're not gonna make an SCP agent. Be so Do slow. what you want. Oh, she's an old lady hatchet. I know that, but I'm just noticing the attention to detail that they made the crippled old lady with cancer's box lower. Prepare for security check. You're always scanning. You don't trust me? Alright, it seems like you don't want to talk today. Watch her have something. Damn it, I was really hoping she had something. 
just as a random spoon. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, Dr. H. D dash zero eight two. My dear, you can call me Dotty. You'll be in innermost room today. Your task is to observe the object on the table. Then come back here to report your findings. Cost. He really should be more clear about these tasks. But this one sounds simple enough, just as well. I might not be able to stand f for too long. Oh my, what a terrible smell. Why don't they just use a nice lavender scent? Probably because those chemicals are supposed to clean you. I don't think they're supposed to smell good if they're supposed to clean you. It's the toaster. This looks familiar. I'm sure the empty room I was in before is just next door. I remember I need to observe. Yes, just observe. Oh, is that my tinnitus flaring up? Or did I just hear something wonderful? What happened? I don't know. <laughs> Did I just walks up, touches the toaster? What was that? Was that my tinnitus? That that felt wonderful. And then it's just a jump cut. What yep. the hell? Okay, you can start your report. To be honest, I'm not sure this is what you need here. Start your report. Well, I am a toaster about this wide and this high. Oh, and my youngest daughter uses the same model as me. Oh, and... Oh, I'm teal green. I think I look good in this color. Yes, yes. I like this coat of paint. I think I can still work. Hmm, what else? That's all I can say. Sorry, I'm not as observant as I used to be. Good. You can go back to your room now. Thank you. I'm glad to hear that. Now, how is she gonna die? That guy just standing in the center of the room, just so that he can sprint up to you and just breathe down your neck for a couple minutes. Right. I wonder how this cellmate is feeling, because so many people are being killed by a toaster. <laughs> nope, so many people are being killed because they think they are toasters. Right, and they're just like, watching it all the time, like... What the fuck is wrong with these people? <laughs> that last guy shoved his dick in an electrical socket. This place is weird. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Miss Wilson, how are you feeling? I don't know. I mean, how do you feel after that task? Oh, I feel not too bad. Yes, I feel like I'm good. That's great, Miss Wilson. To be honest, I was a little worried. I thought, I feel good. I feel great. Yes, wonderful. I have to do something. What do you mean you have to do something? Miss Wilson? Miss Wilson? You know what? There's been a little voice in my head. I think it's time for me to fulfill my duty. I'm a toaster. Time to get to work. Oh no. I'm really... what? Oh god damn it. There's not enough bread to toast. You can toast one piece of bread. Oh, you gotta break out and go find more bread. Maybe I should return the stolen access card under the pillow. Oh god. <laughs> She's wandering around trying to find bread to toast. Course, what does this course. even mean? Oh, she's just eating kind of the bread. toast? Yeah. Or the bread? She's just eating the bread to quote-unquote toast it. Yeah. I see. Bread, bread, work, work. Oh, there's some in the trash. Ah. Uh. This is not enough. I can't toast more. That looks like a steak, not a piece of bread. 
bread. It bread. doesn't work. work. Guess maybe it was a bread enough. steak. I can toast more. No problem for me. I'm the best model ever made. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> work. Work. More bread. More bread. Who the fuck came in here and put this much bread in the back? They just killed an old lady. Oh my gosh, look at her. Oh dear god. Why is this bread taking so long to toast? Test report. D-082 observed the object closely for redacted minutes. Five minutes later, she could only provide a first-person description of SCP-426. D-082 began to develop hallucinations 15 minutes after returning to her cell. She believed that she was a toaster and that she needed to toast bread. She died of internal bleeding due to acute gastric dilation. The autopsy found 60, 16 kilograms of undigested bread in her stomach. Fucking hell. I have no idea how much that is. Yep, rule of thirds. I got one more guy probably. Yep. The subject that D-03 named Adam Loria is a 38-year-old white male with no history of mental illness. He was sentenced to life imprisonment for murder. The psychological evaluation results showed that he had irritable, violent, and manic tendencies before entering site redacted. Remarks D-03 yelled, I'm a toaster. My insides need to be cleaned. After coming into contact with SCP-426 redacted times, he then swallowed 550 milliliters of dishwashing liquid and fell into a coma. It's uncertain at this time whether the effects of SCP-426 are still active. Observation is still underway. Okay. Damn it, fuck. Fuck all of you. <laughs> oh. D-03, you're awake, you're self ready for lab. What the hell am I doing here? What did you do to what the what did you do to me? No one has done anything to you. Ha, huh, that's convincing. Do you think I'm a fucking idiot? After the test, you drank industrial strength dishwashing liquid. What the <laughs> hell are you talking about? Don't fuck with me. I'll kick your goddamn ass. D-03, what are you? What? D-03, what are you? I'm your fucking grandpa. That's what I am. I'm gonna knock you out your teeth one by fucking one. D-03, come out and get ready for a lab. Damn. Why am I dizzy? I don't feel right. It feels like part of my brain is missing. Like... I am a toaster. I am a toaster. I should be a toaster. I am a toaster. I am a toaster. What the fuck? What? 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 That needs to be clipped. What? Where it just sings, I am a toaster. That needs to be clipped. It's just tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. D 3, what are you? Feeling dizzy with a headache. I'm a good toaster. <laughs> Fuck, my head hurts. Where am I? I should be. I've been so confused lately. Wait, back to off. Theater 083. Hey, you old fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember what you did after your last test? D-03, are you willing to tour or serve the test subject? Listen here, I ain't gonna do shit no more. Just kill me now, you bastards. Fuck, my head is gonna explode. Shit. Guard, send D-03 back to his room for observation. Yes, doctor. Damn it, I've had enough, you old fucker. I should go down there. 
gonna start turning your living quarters. Damn it. I actually can't return that way. Oh, I had it at E. Shit, what's wrong with me? I shouldn't be like this. I should be. I am a toaster. I am a toaster. Oh my I god. Am a I am a toaster. That needs to be clipped every time that happens with this character. <laughs> These are Serie 3. Do you have anything to report? Come on, man. I'm broken. Broken? The doctor wants to know how you're feeling. I'm definitely broken. I don't think I can toast any more bread. Bread? Do you have a screwdriver? There's something seriously wrong with me. You need to go to the clinic. Open a door. I need to be fixed. Oh my god, bread. I'll try to toast this bread. That, that way I know if I'm really broken. Damn it. I, there's something wrong with me. This is bad. Oh no. <laughs> what is happening? I have level D prisoner breach. Go through. Oh. Wait, they're spreading. attention for like a single second and now I'm watching a grandpa slash toaster beat up a whole bunch of MTF. Theta083, stop everything now. Theta083, we can kill you now. I am broken. Theta083, what are you? I'm, I'm not a good baby bear toaster. <laughs> What the? I can't toast anymore, but yes, I can fix myself. I am a toaster. I am a toaster. Oh. Thanks for changing it from the red. <laughs> also, I'm extremely confused. I just randomly got like messages on uh, Xbox Live. Where some person that I'm not sure if I've ever seen before just starts texting yo, yo, yo like five times and then, man, you are getting blocked. What the fuck? I have no fucking idea what is going on. No. I just sent back, what the heck? Anyway. Uh, after the previous observation experiment was interrupted, D-083 claimed that he was a baby bear toaster and suffered from internal damage. He requested repairs on the way to the clinic. D-083 behaved aggressively and attacked the guard with a lethal we weapon. He cut open his abdomen and claimed there were breadcrumbs jammed inside. D-083 eventually died of excessive bleeding. Yep. Toaster. After conducting several tests with level D prisoners, the Foundation has determined that SB-426 causes severe mental harm to humans. It has henceforth been defined as an info hazard. Thank you for reading the SCP-426 safety manual. Secure, contain, protect. Wait, I have a question. What if something that has the power of anti-memes or a reality bender was to see 426? Would they be affected? Or would they be immune? I don't know. Well, it looks like that's end of 426. I need repairing achievements. <laughs> Carl, next comes the final choice. Oh. There are uh. two doors in front of you. One red, one blue. If you want to give up and leave, go through the red door. The past few months will have been like a dream. You will remember nothing after waking. And this road will end here. 
You go through the blue door. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Okay, red means I end the game. Or stay. The choice is your own. Blue means I continue the game. This is pretty much the opposite of what the red and blue pill are. Uh, I'm gonna go through blue door. I wanna... I wanna keep playing the game. Good job, Carl. I'm glad you made it through. Have you ever felt like there were memories in your head of things you never experienced? Whispers of people you never met? These were not hallucinations. They're your actual memories. Carl. You are not a rookie at all. You are a member of Mega 5. Oh. You always have been. My name is Marion Wheeler, captain of Mega 5. Welcome back, Gardener Carl. Now, we need to talk about 55. <gasps> the anti meme. Wait, I wonder how they're going to go with the anti meme. Or is that it for now? Might be it. Well, we have yet to go for, for 049 or 610. So, this is probably it for now, and they're going to do updates in the future. Or, or maybe I'll unlock more shit after the credits. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I should have gone through the red door. Well, if I went through the red door, everything would have ended. It... everything ended anyway. Look, it's the giant baby. Oh no, not the giant baby. This game is really good. Mm. Oh, it looks like I don't have to worry about not sh streaming uh, the Tokyo, uh, the Ghost Tokyo game. I forgot what it's called. Uh, uh, Ghostwire Tokyo. Yeah. Cause I mean, if this is it for now. Yeah. I mean, it would make sense for now because I think it was not released that long ago for the demo. I think it was June. And they just now released the game. Yeah. So yeah. Well, oh, if this is actually it for now, do you want to like, since you said you're gonna, or want to keep the stream going until two? Do you want to play some GTA? I. Or do you not have it set up? I do not have it set up. Fuck. Very first title we pour a blend sweat and tears into the game pass for three years to bring something different to players. This is our first title. Your feedback, ideas, suggestions are very important to us. Okay, so this is the first one, which means there's going to be others. Well, this is their first title, right? Okay, later or we'll hit later for that. Oh, we can actually see all the files. Yeah, see, look, there's there's four others right here. They're not done with the game. There's missing four. Are there other things you might have been like? Are they maybe like different choices? No. Throughout the game? No, there wasn't. That's it for now. Damn, this is a good game, and I love it. And I think they didn't say they were not going to release it fully till December, like near December. It, yeah, they said it near the end of year of 2022. This is not near the end um, yet. Oh, okay. So, so those probably aren't unlocked yet. They're probably still working on. It. Which, which goes to show that this.
This is just amazing. This was worth replacing Tokyo SOS. Uh, or what? Or whatever his game is. I, I just said a Godzilla movie instead of the actual game. <laughs> Tokyo SOS. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Uh, but anyway. Oh yeah, the beat is kind of catchy. Yeah, the music was good. The, the voice lines yeah. were good. The graphics was amazing. And I love the changes they did to Hang King, where he had that whole, like, literal play you actually visited and acted in the play. That, that was pretty interesting. I loved it. Yeah, but anyways. Uh... Aderna, last words, go. Is is Aderna here? Just realized you forgot to say some random bullshit at the start. Oh well. Well, I was too excited about the game. How dare. Well, uh, right? You missed the chance to have said. I am a toaster. <laughs> I am a toaster. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah. Um. Uh, superb brand coffee. Can you hear me? Yeah. 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 Okay. Right, Brian and Kofi. <clears throat> follow, subscribe. Right as a bird. All right. Book corner, last words go. Uh, also, the stream alerts thing is down for some reason. Don't know why it's down, but it's just down. And I, I, I got to go. So see you guys. Uh, see ya. Good see night. ya, Turner. <laughs> Borkman's last word, I am a toaster. Give me one second. Oh. Really? Yes. Catch it, last words go. And remember, kids, when breaking and entering, don't. Just don't. I, oh, 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, my last words. I am a toaster. You are all toasters. Must face in the toaster versus humanity, Armageddon, and end all a... of human civilization, because we are I all toasters. A... I ain't a fucking toaster. You will be soon. No, no, I will not. And that's my final words. And you're just a fucking bird.